right? What do you mean OBS disconnected? OBS Studio, yeah, I've not disconnected. Uh, mm, ba -ba 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 -ba? No. What's my password? I can't sign in. What? What is my password? Oh, no. I forgot my Steam account and my password. Email address. I'm not a robot. Okay. Okay. Mountains or hills? Ba ba ba. That's it. to Gmail. Research link below. Okay, let me click the link below. Resume. I guess. I did it. Reset password. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Can't use that. Okay, never mind. Change. Save. Let me do this. No. This thing. Yes, we are in. Sure. Oh God. Friends, no, I don't have any friends. Try me. Oh God. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. It's oh no, it's installed. Okay, let me let me create a source. Game capture. Dial town. Dial town, that's fine. Oh my god. Specific window, window. Oh god. Okay, it's it's ready to launch, but it's installing. Oh god. Uh you wanna keep them? No. Oh my god. Okay, it's keep in mind, it's only the demo. So we probably won't see any of the endings, but you know, it's fine. Cause you know I don't have money. <laughs> This, this, no. Oh god, that's Discord now. Oh, I have a DM. This thing. What? Okay. It's a uh, DM. This thing, and then this, okay. What has Direct Doggo done? Dial town, dial town. Is this all they've done? Oh, that's all they've done. Huh. Chat, I, I swear to you, I swear to you. Once I get money, like whenever I get money, we're gonna do this, okay? We will have, oh, we will have, we will have Dial Town and Dial Town the phone dating simulator. Uh, 
Indy, Indy. How many dating sims are here? Monster Pro, okay. Spirit of the Island. Okay. Not gonna do that at all. Meet Cute Cafe Spectrum Games? These are just for sad people. These are just for sad people. Blackjack and wife is one by one. Medusa's heart of s you can seduce Medusa? Sedusa? Huh? They're forty dollars. What? Um game game oh it's not done yet. What? Okay. I'm just gonna home 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 okay oh, oh god sedusa uh oh no ob obs obs studio okay chat we are going to be playing so many variety games like <gasps> is day shift at freddy's free at fred i think day shift at freddy's is free hang on um game jolt yeah game jolt has a lot of free games no um is a phone. They're all phones. Day shift at Freddy's. Okay. It's easy it why yes, isn't it? It's fine. A job at Fr why is this now dial town? Everything is now Dial Town. Like, Dial Town, Dial Town. These don't even correlate. Is it because I searched it before? What if I just. Oh god. If there's like a Potter simulator. Is this real? Oh god. Your mom. Okay. Pog clicker. Swamp sim horror. Man behind the pogger. Bolts nuclear valley. Skip that. Um. <laughs> Hacker simulator. Tainted creatures. Okay, I. Please tell me the game's done. Watch demo as soon as it's ready. We just got a uh, SCP-49 simulator. The the sign. FNAF for jump scares. You know this is genuinely just. I'm just. I'm just waiting, for. Something. <laughs> Dating simulator. Okay. Sure. Oh 
Oh god, is it Spanish? I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, I think that's Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Slender Mickey. Forced to play. Ooh, that, that actually seems pretty good. Oh. 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 What? Well, no. <gasps> yes. Is it done? <gasps> Wait a second. Dial Town's done. It's done. It's done. Add game capture. Dial Town. Uh. Ah! Is it? Ah! This thing. Okay. Yes. Oh god, that's loud. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Da ba ba. Wait, 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 I need, I need this, wait, uh, oh god, remove, yes, remove, yes, oh, this is so loud, you see, I, I'm saving all your ears, because, you know, yeah, dial town, specific window, window, dial town, wait, 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 this thing. Uh, crap. It's not working. Why aren't you working? Wait, wait, wait. Add. I guess display. See, you can hear the music. No, that's just display capture. No. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, God. Uh, window capture. Dial. That's fine. No. What? Discard. Cancel. Ah, discard. I don't know how to do this. This game. Uh, dial. What do you mean it's already in dial town? This thing, specific window. Dial town. It's not doing anything. It's it's just not doing anything. It's it's just not doing anything. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's working on stream. Maybe it's working on stream. It's not working on stream. I need to turn this down. I need I need to turn this down. Options. How do you? Options. Volume. How do you control it? I can't control it. Um. I can't control it. I just can't control it. Music volume. No, I can't control it. Okay, what if I start a new game? Okay, then can I do it? This. It's quiet. It's quieter, it's a lot quieter. That was just terrifying. Okay, I forced to the screen. I need to do this. I really want to do this. Hang on. Game capture. Dial. Town. Oh god. That's just caps lock. 
this thing. Bio time. Say yes, no. No great. Slow. Normal. Fast. Maybe. I don't know. Can I not do this? You know what? <sighs> this is gonna suck. And I'm not gonna really be able to get off of it. I'm just gonna do a to a display capture. Display capture, sure. Dial town. Fine. Okay. We're here. Hi guys. Hi chat. Can you see it now? Hang on. Uh, I'm checking stream. Can we see it? Please? Please? Okay, yeah, we can see it. We can see it. We can see it. Uh, dashboard. There we go. Done. No. How do I do this? There we go. Hi. So, let's do this. F4 is toggle. Okay, we're in full screen mode. Uh, so cursor, left mouse is select, back, ooh, back. Okay, we're in. Oh. Is there a way that, I, oh, oh, hello, hi. Welcome to the Dial Town phone dating demo. Questions three. Okay, I don't know if this if this matters. Uh, let's do it. Is there any particular reason why I'm speaking in all caps? Am I me right now or me right now? Sure. What's my name? What do we do? B. No. Can we not do capitals? Never mind, I just have caps lock on. How do I, how do you do settings? Whoa. Sure. B. <laughs> Birchius. How do you space? Okay, yeah. It's, uh, back. Birchius. Virtuous. We're just virtuous. Oh, that's space. Beezus. We are virtuous Beezus. Okay. Really? That's your name? Do not judge virtuous Beezus, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Bruh, you're the one that made the call. Okay, anywho, second question. Select a head. Oh, that's what I'm gonna indicate gender. Huh. I need some. Okay. Nectar? <laughs> wait, wait. Nectar one. Those symbols. Dog man, or just one two three four five one five seven two four three F eight. Okay, phone. Haha, <laughs> nice. 
and try having telemarketers living inside your head. My greatest burden is remembering where I buried my old breadsticks at the given time. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Uh, any questions? Okay. <laughs> a pint glass full of drain cleaner. I'm a girl. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyways, enjoy having the ability to feel emotions other than leather and bourbon, I guess. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I don't, I'm not saying that. Hang on. I gotta adjust some settings so you guys can hear it too. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -da -ba. All right, that should be better. I'm not saying that. I don't know, can you? Okay. Yep. Alrighty then, get out of my sight. Okay. Uh, warning for possible cursing. And content, I, oh, oh. Hmm. You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Oh yeah, let me, whoa. Darn. Hang on, let me change this info. In Dial Town. Scrolling through, no. Oh god. That works. And sure, there we go. Phones dating, yes. That makes sense. Okay. I don't want to see the preview. Darn. I think their hand is broke. I hate it when I do that. Huh. No! Options, options. I can't do the audio controls. I'm clicking it. Oh God. Do I have to say it? My my mom and my oh God. My family's gonna be so confused. Okay. My breasts are firm and ripe. Must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Yeah, because all the french fries that get thrown. Plentiful supply of carnal food nearby. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I must go to the carnival. That is not sinister. That is just normal. Oh. Gain, go to the fun fair. Okay. This is great. Is it? Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. True. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are mar are hardly a mile high. Bastard na narrator, need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it might just work. Okay. Ba -da -da -ba -da. Ba -da -da -da. Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, ma'am. Is Jerry dateable? Like, I know we just met him. Please don't bang on the glass. 
it scares Jerry. Is the, is Jerry dateable? Please. I need him. Okay, how can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Yes. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, ma'am? Nah, it's fine. I don't wish to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a feeded hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a different dress if you want to do that. Rats! Hot dang it! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Aw, oh, shoot, I was so close to. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, should I? Wait, I gotta tweet this. I gotta, I'm gonna tweet that I'm playing this. I might get more viewers. Hang on. <laughs> the phone is now. B one. R C H B E three. Yes. Back to this thing. It's been tweeted. I've been, I've tweeted. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that crone who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no, my cutter. I was. You understand? Look, ma'am. I'm only telling you this because you stench is just gonna drive away customers. If I let you loiter around here uninhibited, un uninhibited for month for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day, isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but didn't you say that you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre dribble that, to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Now I'm a loner. Well, I guess that explains why you live so close to the woods. That doesn't mean anything. Grandmas live in cabins sometimes, and they're not really loners. That's a real shame about the loner thing, though. You know, I wouldn't be a loner if you were to date me. Probably, right? I will. I will just live by into oblivion for you, Jerry. That is what I will do. Because the promotion we have on Valentine's Day would have really came in handy otherwise. You intrigue me, Ticketman. Tell me more. Well, Valentine's Day is a people for people who are, you know, in love. That's great. Love? What on God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I'm gonna do those. Thanks. That thing. Love is, well... Oh god. <laughs> the, the pixels. Love is what happens when two grown ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to. Feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches in there. That's beautiful. And then one day, if you're lucky, your your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your banking firm who works in the same cubicle as you for like six more more years than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. It's very. That's love, my scary friend. He called me his friend. Speaking of which, we have promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets are for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite. Okay. You know, Jerry, let me just slightly virtually caress the phone that you have. You know, 
I need a partner, Jerry, and you're looking mighty unscared right now. Granted, I'll take a real bastard too. Mission acquired. Oh god, you must source mate. Okay. Okay, uh, go do that. I will, thank you. Away from here. How about I do it here? Okay. Hey, take it, Jerry. Are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? I will call the police. Don't you dare. No! Ah! I, we gotta restart. We gotta restart. Please. 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 No. We lost him. No, we lost him. No! Escape! Escape! We need Jerry. We, I am willing to throw everything away for Jerry. Oh, so Jerry was dateable. Okay, we gotta get Jerry. We, I do not care. We have to get Jerry, unless I meet someone else. We, escape, escape, game, and, you know what? Wait, can I save? Just in case. <laughs> Bershius Beezus. Back? No! G I almost said Jesus. Title. We have to get Jerry. That's- I am- I really am ready to get Jerry. Jerry is the best. We need Jerry. He's just a guy and you know- Yes. Into your name. Virtius. Beavis. Eric's. Phone. And then, go world. We need Jerry. We just need Jerry. No! <sighs> Leave tent. Can we just like restart? How do we restart? How do we restart? <laughs> How do we restart? Can we get, can we get Jerry? We should have to go, wait, I need to. How do you, how do we do this? Controls, miscellaneous, enter. There we go. Yes. Let me turn up OBS now. Ba, 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 da, ba. Okay. Or we should have to go. Uptown, downtown. There we go. Oh god, please tell me that we can get Jerry. Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Fun fair. Hmm? No. No, where's the fun fair? The fun fair. Yes. Comes back. Captain Sparkles is live, you say? What now? No! Ah! Feebly approach the ticket desk. I just want Jerry. Jerry, hi, hi, hi. Oh. It's you. Yeah, it is me. Hi, ticket Jerry. You look nice today. Stop that. What do you want? Can I ask you a question, Sigur Jerry? Since I'm not allowed to leave this booth and I'm not able to physically compel you to leave through the glass, legally, the answer is yes. So, Sigur Jerry, how many plans for you? Okay. Does it really? S we're not gonna. We're not, I'm not a Karen. We're not gonna scare Sigur Jerry. No. 
Okay. Are you free today? Later? Hey, what are you... Wait. Was the little jitter at the end meant to be awake? It was. Your head is a phone. You don't even have eyeballs to wink with. What are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Hey, can I call you, like, with my head, you know? Can I get your number? No, please, I am not s <gasps> ah! He's married? Tee Jerry's married? No! up even on the married man any more commitment it's fine i'm sorry i'll just get out of here you know what we're not gonna press him we're not gonna press him anymore he's why is why is he so rude My presence is delightful, but let's not be mean. Actually, you know what, screw it. Just as a father is not responsible for his crimes of his children, I am not accountable for the action of my various bodily molds and fungi. You know, a father is most definitely responsible for how his kids turn out. You are most definitely accountable for how much of a biohazard you are. Okay, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be that mean. Sure, let's leave. Where would we like to go? Uh, you know what? Uh, fine. We'll leave him for a while. We'll leave him for a while. Then we'll, then we'll see if he he can be sucky biased. Ugh. I guess leave the area. Where would we like to go? Let's go downtown 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 there we go okay let's just talk to a nearby passerby passerby hello 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 then okay you need something then day okay <laughs> who are you the name is nathan hannibal governor this isn't even British. Bloody hell chuffed to make you acquaintance I am. Okay. Sorry for me ace mate, but I'm running late for a very important date. What's going in a hurry then? What's going in a hurry, sir? Well, I've got to go get a chariot gig that I'm holding on raising money for alcoholic dogs, yeah? Right, piss them ones, them one grills off. That's not even a word. Gotta get there to conduct me Synthonic Orchestra. <gasps> That's the guy! But I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. And if you're quick, I'll be right shaft. D I'm not calling him dad. It's what does synthonic mean what does synthonic mean oh it don't be naturally you know no i don't all right so imagine a ghost yeah okay but like it's stuck in a bloody contraption isn't it okay and it's all learned from inside the machine yeah but the screams are like music and that in it i understand even less about the synthonic thing now thanks Actually, I understand his words slightly because I tend to ask people just like as a little joke, but at the same time, it's like, I understand it. I ask people sometimes to explain something in 
sounds, if that makes sense. Hang on, I have. Yeah, I just realized this. There. Ah! Ah! There we go. Okay. And now we have that. I okay, actually understand him. So that's pretty fun. Don't mention it, Govna. Just lead the magic to me, then. Uh, fine. You call it blimey, that sounds like the right bands. What does bands mean? But unfortunately, you can't. Better go to me concert and I'll be right naggered if after I. What are you saying? Oh god, am I being mugged? <laughs> nah, mate, you're, you're alright. No beef. Okay. Oi, so we done a little rat to. Not. We done our little matter then, or what? Unless you go then. Good luck with your whatever. I need to take my glasses off. Oh god, they're hurting me. Right, get this done, so and and oh, much some footy. Have a palmo and chips. Nice meeting you. Ta ta. Okay. Different person, perhaps. Hello? 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 Oh, I'm sorry, Roger. I love you to death, man. But you've got to work on those nerves. Surely saying hello just once would suffice, no? I know. Peter, it's just... The gr green one is looking right at us. I think she wants something. Well, turn around and ask the nice lady what she wants. Right, of course. Hey, nice to meet you, ma'am. The name's Roger. Hey, Roger, how about you bring to the fun fair, eh? Oh, jeez, I'm flattered, really. Can I just like, okay. But our lunch break just ended, so we've gotta get back to work. You know what, I'm using straight keyboard. I'm not using straight quick keyboard because you can't. It's it it two redhead. Okay, what does that two mean? Firstly, my name's Peter. It's nice to meet you, Peter. Yes, hello, hello. And you said that he wasn't supposed to say it twice. Uh, secondly, no offense, but I'm married. Why is everyone married? Why is everyone that, I'm not gonna say that, married? But, but Peter, didn't you just tell me that Caroline wants to spice things up in the, I need to, ink say on the, I don't what? Ink, ink say on the, oh, it's, Nick's on the bedroom, Roger. That's pig Latin, but this isn't a word. Okay. Whoops, my bad, sorry. That's on me. It is. Ah, crap. Italian. My mortal nemesis. I don't speak that. That was pig Latin. Once again, I'm caught back by, ben by Benito Mussolini himself. Once again? Yeah, once again? Please don't ask for any branch into question, Roger. Words. S sorry. My, my, probably my bad. Anyway. We're happy to answer any questions, but I'd be asking quick. Okay. Our lunch break, or, our lunch break will be over any minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta get back to work, you know? No, I don't. Nice hat. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. I find it makes my head complete. It does. It does. Why doesn't your friend have a hat? Why doesn't he have a hat? I, th I think everyone should have a hat. I don't do hats, I'm afraid. Well, I don't do you. <sighs> my snarky remarks. God. 
Oh god. All of my snarky remarks aren't the best. Okay, ignore, please. If you didn't hear that, good. Oh god, I can see this, this divide between you. The festering gap growing in your friendship. No, this difference of ideology will lead on to war. Hey, I I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have a Shh, sweet summer child. Be silent. Was that, was that like a squeeze chicken? What was that? Okay, only darkness now. Peter, help. You know, I'm gonna move my microphone closer. I can just say it again. Uh, oh, I can't say it again. Who are you to anyways? What do you contribute to the world? That's an existential question. What is a man's worth? I don't know. His merits, his morals, his legacy? I think she wants to talk about her daily grind, Roger. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. We work over at the Dialton Mechanics plant, the, the old one off Main Street. Huh. The one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago, before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work at there together. He does assembly. And I'm his manager. Huh. Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, our old manager ran to the assembly floor, papers, shuffling frantically in hand. He said our plan was going through some new changes and one of us was going to be promoted to his old position. Was he promoted? To a corpse, yes. Oh, crap. That's a bit of business, that, business, that. Turns out the guy had ties with the downtown mob and the cops had finally caught up with him. Ended up jumping out a four-story window onto the trampolines we just manufactured. Guessing the springs weren't there. What allows her to land the trampoline? Oh. What allows me to learn that the trampoline machine wasn't printing any of the actual trampoline parts? Brought us frame springs. I was worried that once he died, the cops would just start shooting at me. Why? I figured, phone lord, if, if he can pass his old aunt John to me, maybe he could pass his crime to me, you know? Yeah, I understand that. Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. Probably hiding. Yep. You hid and cried under the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Yeah, but she didn't know that. Say, why do you pick you to be his manager and not your friend? Your friend seems far less incompetent at being a person. Oh, the old manager said it would be for my diligence and expertise. Or just in a rush. Or just something I was close to the door, and thus the closest to the manager, right as entered. I am so right. Okay, this is all making a lot of sense. Yeah, speaking of, we have to get back to the plant. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager. Who is powerful enough to pr to reprimand Roger for being late? Oh, nobody. I just have to get back to make sure nobody else is running late. Oh. Huh. Speaking of. Uh uh. Never mind. Never. Wait. Never you mind, Razor. I will not depart. I will depart <laughs> from this conversation. Hey hey. Wait, and hey, if you ever need a job, I will never work, never till, never slave away for mine daily bread. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Okay. Nice meeting you, I guess. It was quite nice meeting them. Clown. Uh, nearby Poland teleports directly to you. Ah, what the? You know, you hope there is something, anything, that'll somehow help you get into the fun fair. Hmm, let's see. 
Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. Hi, I'm Frongles the Clown. Oh god. What is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. Oh. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot isn't Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods. He's only ever seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly. He might as well have been my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head conversation in disgusting flesh with a red bulbous tumor at the attached tumor attached to your face. Okay. That honks. They have gigantic shoes and yet and yet they drive around in comedically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are men are menial. They truly are wretched creatures. Huh. I had no idea that this felt this way. Off of the inks. Okay, so should we skip over Frong's advert then? After that, read the comments page, it might be funny. But you said I think you're impossible. Read the clown page. Read the clown page. I'm reading it. I'm reading it. Let's see here. Hiya, boys and girls. I'm Frongles the Clown. What? Okay. They said hiya, boys and girls. But they didn't even include, like, the... The... the glass description at the beginning. I'm Frongles the Clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but I know as well dabbing in the dabbling in the pum on the plumbing and dentistry. I'll do just about anything for four dollars. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lowly for this clown? But <laughs> what do you mean by that? What what, what do you mean storm drain? Which storm drain? Where are the storm? What do you remember that Frongles? Frongles? Do you happen to know a kid named Georgie, perhaps? Fine. Four dollars by God, you can afford that. Come on, I have a chimp to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end then. Yours honkfully, Frongles the Clown. Honk honk. Okay, sounds like a goose, but not. Huh. Wow. Hey, do I have four dollars? I want to have. I think the whiplash I got from hearing that is gonna make me vomit. I don't have a corporeal form, and I think I might vomit. Wait, what even are you physically? I guess I'm like a disembodied voice. How does this even work? Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that only you can hear to explain itself to you? Nah, that'd be weird. Weird as in laying eggs weird? No, no, because I lay, because I lay eggs is weird. Yeah, it is. Lots of animals lay eggs. Pigeons lay eggs. Komodo dragons lay eggs. Are you a pigeon? Birchies bees, oh, I forget my name. Are you a pigeon, Birchies bees, or are you Komodo dragon? I plead the fifth. Okay, F it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, here's another one. Rent a chimpanzee. Yes. Yes. Good start. Hey, hey, are you? Hey, no, hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you want to take my chimpanzee? You, you want to take my chimpanzee out for tea? Chimpanzee, ha. Huh? He's a little on the fair side now that he's reached full maturity, but as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire. Or people. Why is fire colored? It's only four dollars. By God, you can afford that. I see it. Yeah. Okay, this is clear that Frong is the clown character again. Hehe. <laughs> clown funny. 
Your stomach is swollen with eggs. You think you trog a lot. I don't know what that says. You need to focus. All right, all right, sorry, sorry. Are there any other advertisements latched onto that pole? Yeah, there's exactly one. Phone sex hotline. Somehow, I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. What about? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. Okay. I am ready to mute. Okay, I'm, I am ready to mute. We're calling the number name. Okay, okay, fine. If you insist. How are you gonna make, oh, how are you even gonna make the call, you're right. To the nearest phone booth away. Don't phone booths need money? They need money, right? Yeah, 25 cents. Alas, here we are. Downtown's only phone booth. Since half of like all people got their heads replaced with roadie phones. I dare say this isn't as much use since then. No. Quite big around the inside, it does. And it seems to use the ability solely to contain far more filth than in one particular fetish box should be able to contain. Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All of the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. Can I, I wanna name the raccoon. No, you'll just get a touch. I wanna name the raccoon. No, I wanna name it. Yes. What if we name him? What do we name him? Fine. No. Boom. He is 25 cents. What did I just say? Sorry, it was an accident. His name is 25 cents. You're not keeping, I'm keeping it and that's final. Crap. Raccoon friend. We have a raccoon. <sighs> Sigh. You ready? Sure am ready. Read the number out. Good show. Glad to see some enthusiasm. Oh, he's not angry. The number is uh, uh, your enthusiasm for not. I don't get it. What's the number? It's a uh, win a hundred. Sexy phone. You sure you're ready? Huh? Are we ready? Chat, what do we think? Should we bounce right now or should we risk my Twitch career and do this? Okay, I, I am so ready to mute my sounds. Never been more ready in my life. Oh God. Huh, no dice. Damn it, how am I supposed to get through with these sticky, unusable keys? Yeah, to be frank, as sticky as the keys are, they're not the issue here. What do you mean? The issue was you not putting 25 cents into the phone box coin slot. Do I have 27 cents? If you had money, you wouldn't be in this phone request in the first place. I knew that, I was merely testing you. Testing me for what? I don't know. Ticks? I... Click. Look, point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're senseless. So, what's the plan? What is the plan? Huh. You're only remembering now that you heard the cell phone? I didn't hear you suggesting it. I don't exist. You're standing in a phone booth alone, holding a dead raccoon. He has a name. Fine, let me just make the call. Ready, ready, ready. 
Oh god. Oh crap, that actually seemed to work. Never say that again. Hi, my name is Randy Jade and I'm feeling Randy for you tonight. Okay. I'm sorry. My boss forced me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. Not saying that. How are you doing? Oh, you know, same as always, but just never great. Sorry about taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. We're already talking like we're friends. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course we are. Don't you work at a phone sex hotline? I mean, yes, of course I do. But it's only a side job I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is laughably high. So then what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangling for downtown animal control. I'm kind of in the middle of subduing a hostile swan right now. And he's on the phone. Wait, you said they were fighting a swan? I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan and more that I'm trying my darnest to subdue the capture it before it wrecks havoc. What kind of chaos could a lonely swan cause anyway? You sound like you're crying. I can't let the swan see. I already know that it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know, but it's also emotionally stronger too. Oh, Randy, I'm sorry. I, I got all caught up in the swan talk. You see, most customers call kind of, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to want to talk dirty with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12 hour shift in the dial time battery factory. I mean, no offense. I don't work. Would you recommend that parties out of, I don't know, nesting mission for heavily pregnant friends eggs? I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Not gonna, no. Are you kidding me? If I even found someone willing to tolerate my presence, that's marriage material. Hey, we're gonna go do game night with this thing. Okay. Is that or they're just acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs? Fool me once. Huh. Okay. I'm not gonna. What? Okay. I found out that blue means like politeness. You know, cool person. You know, red is angry or aggressive. I don't know what this is. I think this is like really friendly talk. Hey, hot stuff, how about we go on a fun tour sh shindig home? Okay. Okay, let's, are you, are you asking me out on a date? Yes, yes I am. Well, it's less of a date and more of an egg laying. Yeah, 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 we are. Gee whiz, this is... I've never been asked on a date before. Usually, I'm the dude who has to be... Who has to beg people to go for coffee with me. And to resist the urge to throw the, the scalding beverage in my face during the sort of deal of taking me out. So, you're in? I sure as heck am. What do I have to lose? Well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for the skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Oh. Huh. No. 
No! The verse of the Bible. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, I'm kind of at work right now, and you know, this swan isn't going to ring itself. I am heavily pregnant. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand. It is a now or never, Randy. I... Alright. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Take my time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run. So I get all sweaty and you can't smell a scent of swan massacre in desperation over my overwhelming body odor. If I, if I manage to ask later, I'll just say that the swan won. It always does anyway. Catch up at the fun fair, my sweet. Oh. Thanks to the phone lord that my pants were already wet with pond water and s Randy, you're too much. Literally. Otherwise, I'd have to change my pants right about now. Ow! I'll see you there. Well then. Looks like you reasoned your brain to the fun fair after all. What do you think of him? Personally, I find him awful in every convincible way. Well, what about you? I think it's cute. I'm not surprised, in all honesty. You aren't? Nope. I mean, you mean roadkill. <gasps> Can I bring my raccoon? After all, what is Randy if not a dateable opponent of roadkill? Come on, let's go. You've got a date to attend. So, what now? Leave the area. Fun fair. This is nice. Actually, you know what? Now nah, let's let's not go to the fun fair right now. Let's let's wait a few. Catch that. Randy's waiting. Uh, leave the area. You know what? Uh, I don't know if he'll like wait or not. The fun part. What does Randy look like? So, you ready to meet Randy at the gate? I just know. I do know. I, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Come on, you've got a date to catch. I do. Me. Dog. Hi, me again. Just serving you up a, a little finale one time reminder. You can ask the menu anytime using the escape view if you need to change settings or save the game anytime. Also, make. You read a version choice carries remind me to save it at this moment. Another ending, allowing you to try another ending without any backpedaling. Thank you. And don't forget, better save than- Oh, I love that. Jerry! Take it, Jerry, my friend. What? Phone Lord, help me. Why can't I just have an average day at work? Look, ma'am. As I said, I am not willing to let you even get you off my back. I am not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull our romantic partner out of you, he's coming. Who is he? Randy. Did you actually manage to rub some poor sucker into paying you into a fun fair? Or is that some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach enzymes dissolve a gaping hole into our fence for you to climb through? Dang, I wish I'd come up with that. Damn, I wish I had come up with that idea myself. Yeah, I figured I'd be able to do that. You look like you can spit acid. Is that the green skin? Yeah, among other physical qualities. This alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know. Of course you would. 
Wait, Randy's. Randy? Randy? Sorry. Point is, I know a Randy or two. See, does your happen to be really pale and scrawny covered in bandages? Constant smell of sweat, desperation, and swan rage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He does. Yeah, I'm glad Ryan's got some someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Oh, quite a pity that it isn't with a literal crib who just wants to use him as a pawn for egg laying plan. That's not fair. Who knows, but I do want some hermits. Name one fact about Randy, not him wrangling swans and people's wieners over the phone. He, uh, lives in a house, apartment, tree, linen, or enchanted cottage. Actually, he doesn't. He used to have an apartment, but now he lives in a... I love him, I love him, I love him. Take it, Jerry. I tried to get you, but you didn't want me. So now I have this one. Hey, sorry I'm late. I had to roll around in a puddle to get the swan blood off my clothes for the big date. Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? They both know the blood was ex was exclusively mine. Ah. Ah. But hey, you look marvelous, my sweet. Ah. So do you, Randy, look cuter than I pictured over the phone? Yeah. Oh, I, I, do you really, Randy, I know your brains are probably all scrambled from the accident and then the numerous swan maulings, but come on, man. What accident? Don't judge Randy, he's amazing. Don't fall for her honeyed words. What are you talking about, Jerry? She's using you, Randy. We have a two-for-one ticket promotion on the Valentine's Day for couples. She just wants you to pay her in so she can lay her eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I knew that. You knew? And still you came? Beggars can't be choosers, Jerry. Randy. Fine, it's your funeral, I suppose. No, that'll be two dollars then, Randy. Okay, I should have two dollars. I, uh, I should have about two dollars here. Oh, maybe slightly less. You know what? Just go right in, Randy. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretched of a creature for today. Huh. I'm not... Uh, fine. Randy, please just get the creature out of my sight. Y yes, sir. Come on, hun. Oh, this is... Let's go do the romance like a couple of lovebirds. Let's do it! Yeah! We shall! Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him way too much. We shall do it! After you. Oh. Ah! I love him! Chat, chat, I love him. I love him way too much. He, he is the best. Well, uh, well, here we are, my love. Oh. The Diaton Funfair and all of its grease-soaked safety impaction failing glory. So, my love, what shall we do first? No, we shan't do that first. We gotta ride the rides. Oh, uh, right. You wanna just, uh, lay those right now? You know, get it over with. Hmm. 
No. No. There we go. Okay, hon, let me just brace myself for the Sure, alright. If you need to, I guess? I've never laid eggs before myself. Not that I can, you know. I'm sure it's hard to do without, uh, sufficient bracing. Oh god. I'll just, uh, give you some privacy and let you get to it. Oh god. Pained grunting. Agonized grunting. Uh, you okay, hun? Distressed roaring. What's the matter? Aren't you, like, heavily pregnant? I've got stage fright. Ah, right. So, uh, what now? Huh. We could always go on a few rides. See if we can shake the eggs out of my gut. Wow. That's absolutely wretched. But, I mean, I guess we can ride eggs now. Anything for you, my love. Oh, I don't want to be mean to him. I really don't want to be mean to him. I don't want to be mean. Wow, radical. I wish Randy could be my... Cool. This be? Hang on. Could this feeling be love? No, wait. It's just your egg squirming inside of you. No, it's Ryan. No, wait. I hate, I hate my mind. Fall north, I think I'm gonna hurl. I swear if I have to go on one more vomit coaster. Fear not, dear Randy. I am ready to lay my eggs. Oh, good then. Right, uh, right here? Yes. This ditch is squalid and dank. A damp and throughout moist. In close proximity to the head, to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh, do you need me here for this or fetch me a hot dog mating partner? No. Be less mean to him. I mean, I can do that, sure. Egg lying is a strenuous ordeal. I require sustenance. Fine, fine. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. With one quality fair gun wiener. Okay. Uh, who am I kidding? We both know that there'll be more rat tails, pig hooves, and horse jerky in the sausage. Okay, so I guess it's... We should be less mean tonight. The sounds of the damned. Huh. Well, would you look at that? My babies. They're, uh... Defensive Neanderthal grunting. They're, uh... Beautiful? Proud Neanderthal grunting. Oh god. Hey hun, I'm back. Huh. I suppose these be your eggs then? I'm a mom, Randy. A mom. I can uh I can see that, yes. They're quite a uh, green. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. You're, uh... You're very much welcome. Smile. So, uh... What now? Throw some tops on of the eggs and... Good. My bees are safe and sound. Okay, so, like... The eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. Or 
Park and Casino. I don't know. Fully, no, we're not leaving him here. He's already done enough for us. Yeah, team the carp. Team the carp. Oh, yeah. What shall we do first? What shall we do first? Is this an important thing? Go play some Den Carmelays. Raid the hot dog stands. Wouldn't I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, a whole 10 meters that, that away. Oh dear. Oh god. It appears that Rainy wants you to walk 11 yards to your left. Oh crap, oh crap. I just laid an F ton of eggs and my legs are jelly. My legs are limp and flaccid. Yeah, also never use the word flaccid around me again, thanks. What to do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl, hot dog activity. I'm sorry. Also, maybe stop talking to me already. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a well, like a wounded fetal, feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal. Hun, are you alright? Do you need a glass of water or whatever kind of whiskey and bat nectar you're trying to let me consume? Panic! Uh, hun, you just said the worst panic out now. Fortune teller! What? what? Look, Randy. Exactly two meters that that away. Is that a fortune teller animatronic? Madame Mediocre. Look, I don't know, I kind of have a, that sounds like a bad idea, yet, but dear Randy. You don't want to gaze into your future? I mean, my present is already bad enough. Aw. And the sign says that the, that the machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing the next, hopefully much less than 40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape of an orb all at once just destroys the black fabric of my future. Look, I, I can't be here right now. No. I'll, I'll see you around, you know? I... No! Huh. Huh. That's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the appearance. Aww. Oh. Time is scary. It renders us all to not eventually. Dear Randy, are you? Yeah, unless you're just somebody voice like me. You can you can't rock if you don't actually exist. Bastard. Come on then. Let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk though. Sorry, let me ask for a correction. Let's crawl home then. Ah crap. Goodbye, my children. I'll return to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, so I go black and all that. Let's just go. No, Randy left us. No, he was nice. Huh? He left. And not the direction kind. Oh, the following morning. Okay, so it's not over. Ah, here I am, awakened. Fortunately, alive. Another fine morning indeed. Crap. Oh god, I hate being alive. I needed a distraction of some kind. Good morning to you and narrator. Distract me. I, uh, did you know that dragons are actually real, but just really high up in the sky? There's also some closer to ground, but we can't see those either since they're all invisible. You are a liar. How dare you feed me such falsehoods. The epitome of worthless lies. Oh dear. Did you know that ketchup is actually just tomato nectar? You are distracting me from not. Fine, geez. Well, you could uh, stare at your light bulb up close for a while. Try to burn your optical sensors out so you don't have to see how boring your surroundings are. Capital idea. 
Let's see here. Stare into the sun. God, that's a lot of flies. Sure is. Guess I'd probably clean the place. It's still popular. I guess start on my on my yearly cleaning later. You were gonna actually remember to get it done this year? Without child labor dies? Maybe. That's really it. No, isn't it? Almost definitely yes. Mm-hmm. How about I change scenery? Where would I even go? I don't know. You could go to the local bench. But I have to sit down. Well, legally no. But why go otherwise? I don't know, but my Kaiser is pretty darn raw. I don't know what that means. Egg laying isn't exactly something I do daily, you know? Oh, context. That I know what that means. Fine, you know what? If you want to go to the bench and not sit down, that's fine too. No. I'll sit down. Or lay down. Not the one. No one knows. The bench. With its colors. Well, isn't this serene bench? That's right. Virtuous Beezus. You effing weirdo. This isn't really engaging to me, to be frank. Well, yeah, you've managed to sit down on a bench just by your extrusion analogony, which is quite impressive, don't get me wrong, but not only much of an active activity. Look too agonizing. Less passing strangers think you're talking to a really centerist dump, that is. So, what now? Hmm. You could always look around, guess the local scenery. Delightful, yes. This is really nice. Like the game itself, it's a great game. Ah, I just stretched. Behold trees, hello trees. Christ, you're easily amused. Right, but I also bore easily. Okay, I'm bored again. Well, why don't we do off for using this, this other story? God, the boredom, it's unbearable. Seriously? Okay, let's just go look at something else. Swan. Behold, the mighty swan. Huh. It reminds me of Randy. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen one of these puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies. They're swans. S-W-A-N-S. -S. Please hush now. Make me. Don't make me. Please. Oh, God. God, things are terrifying up close. Why do we have to give them paper shredder threads? Fancy like having office ones because they're ridiculous one, right? Did you get like a monkey's one? And a messy one. You know, it has not just occurred to me why Randy has bandages on his hands since he has to wrangle these feather red shredder diners on a raid daily basis. Randy, who that? The fine chap you on his birthday with last night. The dude with a face wrecking on his forehead? Yeah. But that's the guy, right? Wait a moment. What? You have one of those ideas again? Companionship. Uh-huh. What if I find Randy? He can, like, say new stuff to and in front of me. Which will, like, cure my boredom, mayhaps. Yep, that's the idea of social interaction anyways. Really? To alleviate boredom? Well, yeah, kind of. Please favor the handy interaction pentagram. What? Oh God, <laughs> love giving and receiving. I have a lot of love. Bug facts, yes. Tax benefits, violence and as such. I don't have much violence, that's good. Wait, this is about love, isn't it? This isn't about me, it's about love. Boredom, love, bug facts, tax benefits. Huh, as you can see, boredom is the key interaction with Interact with others, which both fucks my husband talks about love being in the other for less important reasons. Yeah, I've, I've used pay taxes. You live in a tent in the park and drink pond water. The grandma would rather pretend that you don't exist, even if it means forgetting to bill you on the 50 cents of taxable income that you make per year throughout forging on shiny roxberries and miscellaneous seats. I sold my soul to Calvin Coolidge for half a Bitcoin. F taxes. Right. Anywho, you should find Randy then. Might end up curing your chronic boredom, you know? Where is Randall? Well, I don't know. I have no clue where he could be right now, to be frank. Why not ask around town? 
on my merry whittle way. Oh God. If only you could feel the contempt that I hold for you. Cryptid away, scuttle away. I scuttle off. That's nice. I scuttle off. You know, the OST for this game is really good. To assist a bum. Please help me. I have to click. Ah, There's our boy. There's our guy. That's, a, that's our guy. That's our boy. That's our boy man guy. Person. And nothing to see here. Cinemas. Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Ah! Hmm. Okay, Bernie said that it worked. He said that he was a... That, that he was a sex hotline and a uh, swan wrangler, right? So that would be park, right? Yeah, park. That'd be more than park, I think. Yeah, there's water. Lie down on the grass. It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut. This is nice. Ah, oh, isn't it just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. The one you're only like two yards further away from. Yeah, the peacefulness really helps and clench the old s spin -ter. What do I do this for often? Well, usually the grass here is lined with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that. Sugar warning. What the? What the F? Ah, my arm, oh God, oh crap, oh crap, oh no, ouch. Yeah, you think I can see a scratch tool, right? That's just, why doesn't he have armpit pair? I realize this now, what? Okay, cause that's just a butter knife. Yeah, I think I can see a scratch tool, right? This is why I hate nature and crap. Well, technically strangers are completely man-made in use, so like, silence narrator. Yeah, you might want to find a band-aid or a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, you're penniless and bandages, so don't exactly grow on teas. Okay, but used syringes grow on fields? How is that even remotely fair? Oh, crap. You, you wounded... Oh, wait. Oh, shut up, you couldn't why, baby. Hiss. Come back to the park we go down. There's definitely like some type of lore to this game. Hey, the area. Where would you like to go? It's time. We're gonna scare children. Ball. <laughs> Measure the ground. Exactly, 25.5 feet away. Perfect. You know, you now might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any close to this very playground again in the first. Shut. I refuse to learn any lessons. Ready up. Intel. Childer, childer. Come gather round, childer. Little boy. Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm four foot seven, small like grass, despite never touching it, did me having a grass up on my phone, and I take my crystal meth licorice flavored. Kids grow fast nowadays. Hey, why? I remember when I, when I was your age. I am me or hatchling. Why my tail hadn't even grown yet? Tail? Still waiting on that bad boy to regrow, but once it does. Okay, scary green woman. Say, aren't you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this here playground? Jokes on you, I'm your vertically stunned shitlord. I measured the ground before summoning you. I am within an irresponsible, marriageable, but still legal distance. Ha. You're less than 25 feet from me right now, though. 
No. -uh. We learned about two different numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo. Well, double drugs on you, you little scrote. The losses that I can't even 25 feet of the playground. Not the little steroids run, scrotes running within its confines. Technically, you approached me. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then. But please, no, I need intel. If this is the question about the birds and the bees, then I'm sorry. But my dad gets really angry when I ask him about that for you. Turns out, S gets mostly nasty when birds... Okay. No, it's not that question this time. Then, what is it? Hmm. Have you seen Randy around, kid? Who's Randy? Oh, God. You ever seen a man get mauled by six enraged swans simultaneously? Oh, Randy. I haven't seen him today, no. Maybe the swans finally pierced his jugular and dropped the poor bastard. Phone God knows he's been trying. No, I need him alive, damn it. Why? I'm so often bored, you have no idea. Well, have you tried bashing your head against the wall so you can't think anymore? No, Hayes, no way, Jose, shit, gremlin. The last time you suggest that, I tried it and tasted pain for a whole day. Then my ex's cousin fell off. See, you probably didn't need more of those ex o skulls anyway. I can see the blood flowing under my skin in my head at all times now. Oh, God. Good. Helps keep track of that sort of thing automatically now. What sort of thing? Which way my blood is going? Is that, or that is, that, that there is blood in my body? Sure, why not? What are your new cool words? Oh man, cool is a new drool. Oh? Thank you, Inferno Scott. Crap. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Inferno, for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I am tripping over words and frankly, I'm tired, so I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, all right. Oh man, cool is a new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. Oh God. Yes, I'm listening. Now, I'm sure you know all the popular ones like calling an experienced rug man Aladdin or referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog as a grouch. As a grucho, grucho? I don't know what these words mean, but the mighty slur of them all? Krungus. Krungus. It's like a cheat code, but instead of unlocking you an extra life or more money, it just unlocks you a particularly painful death. Krungus. I'm saying it. Okay, awful, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, green one. Now we done here or what? Nah, what do you eat? Are you trying to learn me learn more kids way to clean your tent again? No. You are, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now answer the question you pre you prepositioned said. Well, personally I consume all kinds of diets like glitter, modeling clay, chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets. Like most kids my age. Glitter. Okay, you wanna write this down? I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? No. Sure. Home, home dog, slice man. So, what else do you want, bozo? Nothing, go away. Ah, I do have a name, you know. No, you don't. Yeah, I don't care to learn it, yeah. No, you, you don't have one. You're gone stunted one. All right, later, bozo. Uh, ball. It's probably just something good. Where would you like to go? Uh, uptown. We are on the hunt for Randy. I felt so mad. I felt so bad for being mean to him. Ah, Ugh. my bones. Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Uh, 
where where would he be? Dial okay, downtown had the phone had like the phone booth, right? So maybe we can call him again. Where would you like to go? Uh where's the pole? Casino! Oh my god, we're going to the casino. We're going to the casino. We're going to the play now or else. Okay, I love this casino. Okay, okay, I've got it. Hear me out, hear me out. Uh-huh. Okay, so you know how gambling is always a wise idea. Huh. My idea is basically that I should gamble. I don't know if that's a good idea. What? Why in God's green earth not? Well, firstly, the idea of gambling is that you put money in Lady Luck's a gambling pot rather than double what you put in or get nothing. Sounds like fun. I like risks. Considering you often eat roadkill, flesh to the ground. Yeah, trust me, I know. What does that have to do with risk? Tapeworm. Sorry, go on. To take a financial risk, you need to have a starting capital. You know, unless you're like a bank or a sketchy construction real estate company. And may I remind you that you're penniless. Ah, oh, crap, this sucks. Aw. Oh. This is America. It's my God-given right to gamble. God-given? I'm only six to that the Holy... Revenable was was versus against such shut. Ah, rats. Do all fun things require money? I'm afraid so. Yeah. Literally without except expert exception. What about devouring gravel? That's free. Only because you refuse to pay for the gravel. You know how some construction sites in the sea have a point of view or mug plastered on every notice board on site along with shoot on site notice, right? Ah, crap. So what are my options? Well, right now your dirt pool... What? Right now, you're dirt poor, which is already the typical endpoint of the gambling. So, really, you've only come to the middleman, who's in this case a black dracula and a bully, and a bow tie who smells like whiskey and vomit. Huh, what are people doing at this point? Get the real link to divorce and drink heavily, typically. Right then, to the bar I go. Ah, uh, I need to stretch. Ah! He. Okay, I know we have Randy, right? We have Randy right now. But, and I know that it's probably too late to change. This man is hot. Hi, oh, welcome to the Lock and Whiskey, ma'am. My name is Pierre. I'll be your barman tonight. Teehee, your name is the same as the wooden dock canoes park at. Yes, yes it is. So, what's your poison? Hmm. Tell me more about this place. Oh, if you're looking to learn more about this building, you've come to the right place. I have. So, basically, this whole place is in front of the Dialton mob. Wait, what? We don't serve hobos, that means you, God. Yeah. The casino part was really set up by the mob to launder money, or so I believe. Since all the gang had to do was flow all their money on stupid bets, it seems. Foolproof, you know? But, of course, they managed to fuck even that up and keep winning their money back somehow. Which was far from inconspicuous, as I assure you. I can assure you. So many members just keep believing because they keep winning back more than enough to retire on. Huh. What then? Well, we also rigged the games, too, just to make up for our losses, you know? This worked off for a day, and soon we had the Dialton Casino Exploratory Commissions on our collective asses. And with them came the mayor. Let me tell you, my green pal, she is not somebody you want to anger. Yeah? Terribly catty woman, if you catch my drift. Long story short, the mayor forced to treasure the mob as a limited liability company, and we pay taxes now. Gee, that's rough. Yeah, the casino actually functions on a bit of a loss now. Combined with the mob's lack of finesse at checkpointing their various romps, plots, and chicken schemes. Oh, and their caper. Can't forget those. Right. Yes. Anyway, the bar is really what keeps the whole perception afloat. So, this is also their HQ. Oh, yeah. They're down in the basement playing cards. Want me to pass the meshes along? They're not awfully hard to find, are they? 
Mom certainly aren't, actually. Oh, look! A bunch of elderly Italian American gentlemen in suits eating lasagna over at some table every night and talking about pulling off hits. I wonder what job these men could do for a living. I mean, plus, you know, someone's gotta be the face of the organization. Because, you know, somebody's gotta collect their mail. Does mom get a lot of mail? Oh, phone lord, no. Organizers since the colossal of nobody in their right mind would come to us for a job. But, you never know. Plus, the mayor needs a public address to, the, to send her tax collectors to, you know. Why does she allow you guys to operate in Dialthon at all? He's like she could obliterate you at any moment's notice. Ah, my words are dying. Well, actually, it's very simple. The mayor sets Dialthon taxes at a low rate compared to towns in the rest of the state. Gets brownie points for the citizens for keeping taxes so low. And then the mob gets to rob citizens and taxes the mob at a higher rate, allowing her to essentially collect twice on the same smug's paycheck, you know? We're going to collect the IRS, but far more squeamish and far less feared. I see. That all sounds kind of evil. What does she do to the extra money for? I think she puts it back into the paving grows or maybe education. Phone God knows we sure aren't getting more of that here. Crap. To quote Alvin Nison. I've never let me I've never let me educate get in the what I've never let me education get in the way of my casual drug use. That doesn't sound quite right. I don't know the phrase off by heart. I'm slightly high right now. I see, I see. Anywho, that was all very corrupt. Thank you for your time. Don't mention it, ma'am. Need anything else then? Nah, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. He's hot. But, you know, I'm satisfied. Alright, take care now you're here. Yeah, I will. I have to find my love. Leave. No, let's talk to someone. Let's talk to someone. Let's talk to someone. Talk. Oh, you're new. Hello? Hello, hello? Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, hey there. You need something, friend? Who you identify yourself? Oh, uh, I'm a. Uh, you can call me Harry if you like. Sorry, is there anything specific that I help you without that I can help you out with? I'm running late for work, and if I'm in the door even a moment after noon, Mr. Kennedy will have to hire. Will have to hide for brunch for to get to the ripe hour of 5 p.m. Uh, have you seen Randy? I'm not gonna flirt with him. I'm not gonna flirt with him. Randy, Randy, ah, ah. Randy, Randy, that name rings a bell, all right. Where would I know I'm from? I've seen a man get dragged away by a swan kicking and screaming. Oh, that Randy. I'll be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've ran into him. I remember I used to work over in the nearby burger joint and asked me if there's any jobs going on the first page that I've got a while back. Just picking us, Randy's a nice guy and all, but I can't picture him as a sweaty bear suit. One slip of, one slip and all, what? I didn't read that. Anywho, a friend he asks, tell him to stay far away from bear. Huh? Okay. Okay. I guess I'll tell him to... Is the name of the restaurant I ever get? Yeah. Oh god. Who on God's green earth names their fast food joint Bear? Fair point. Preach to the choir, man. Preach to the choir. Anywho, could always ask around the downtown burger joint. Okay, I will. I think the name of the place is Bunny's Burgers, if I recall correctly. Never been myself. Heard the guy who owns it is a huge hecker man, though, if you'll excuse my French. He certainly is, yes. I did never met him. Choose me away every darn moment I sniff at the windows of a restaurant. Granted, he couldn't be any worse than my boss. You ever smell a rotting body before? Yeah. Yes, 
many times back. Huh. All right then. Well, if you think a corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Yeah. You honestly think a creature that hasn't blinked in a decade knows what a legal mandate toilet break is? <clears throat> yeah, if you want to find Randy, I'd ask that at the nearby burger joint. I'm not going to call him, hun. Thanks, Siri. You're a star. Oh, shucks. Don't you dare. Okay, ma'am. I'll see you on the flip side then. I'm not gonna try and be mean to anyone. Okay, we gotta go to the burger. Burger place. Local burger place. And sniff at the man's glass. Well, Birchius Beezus, can you see Randy in there? Uh. I have mole vision, ma'am. Ten plus feet away is beyond my visual reach. All right, I forgot they evolved from dimly lit squad and dank environment. This the hustle and bustle is who scares me. My scaly world brain. You see anyone there running from swans or begging for change, perhaps? Alas, no to both. Well, that's all I've got. Unless you want to sniff at the glass, perhaps. That sounds like a great way to get slapped across, but that what? That sounds like a great way to get slapped across the tits by a sour fast food tyrant. Do you have any other ideas? Sniff. Oh god, oh god, oh. Him. I have summoned you. Bunny the Burgerman. Hey you, I've spoken about this, you literal cryptid. He has nails. Get away from the glass or I'll- Randy. Randy? Yeah, what about him then? Some sort of that used to work here. Well, yeah, he did. But if I fired that, I fired that letter a long time ago. Hasn't stopped him from burying under my skin though. Like the human tick he is. He is not a tick. You know what they say. You give a man an inch. And then Randy lives near your dumpster. He lives near your dumpster? Yes. Ah! Found him. Huh. Odd. Go to the dumpster. Go to the dumpster. Huh. Hey, at least he pays rent, which means he at least compensates for my wasted time, unlike some people. Yeah, what an instrument that Sandra's, right? Yes, yes. Be gone from me, green one. Dumpster. We gotta go to the dumpster. Bitch. Dumpster, 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 dumpster. Where do we get to the dumpster? How do we get to the dumpster? Dumpster! Randy! Well, here we are. Behold, dumpster. Where is he? Call out to him, Birch has Beezus. Use your voice. Randall. I summon thee. Hey, hold on a moment. I, I'm coming. Please don't leave, unless you're an angry taxman. Case, please do. Hun, it's me. It's Birchius Beezus. Oh, oh, Fallen Lord. Definitely don't go anywhere. Hold on. Hey, hun. It's so good to see you. It's, oh, phone God. I haven't even scrubbed the wax out of my receipt reports. I... You look nice. <laughs> you're not so bad. You're, so, you're not so bad looking yourself my garbage and nectar soaked hunk. Please don't tell me that. Me being soaked in garbage is a turn on for you. No. Would you rather I despise you for it? To be frank, given the op options, I think I would. Then I could at least pretend that you were a productive member of society. <laughs> Kinda hard to do that with my green skin though. I guess you got me there. Hmm. Well, welcome to Casa de, de Randy, I suppose. Don't bother wiping your feet. They'll just get filthy again as soon as you enter. 
Trash is my element, Randy. My feet literally can't get any dirtier. I mean, you know you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was a natural scent. Like the smell of your egg laying juices, maybe. That's specious. But alas, you're also indeed correct, yes. Yeah, I assumed as much. I've never seen an egg being laid that didn't come out more than boy do swans churn a lot of those things out. All right, swan eggs indeed. This uh, this whole poverty thing you have going on, or you know, living in a dumpster and working awful jobs and whatnot. Huh? How'd you choose? How'd you end up in this boat? My life's a boat. Then it's the Titanic right now. Look, don't get me wrong. That's an excellent question, my boy. But boy, I do not want to answer it. We can drop the topic if you're not comfortable. No, I... Thanks for the concern, but nah. I need to get all this drivel off my chest. Yay. But not here. Yes. Okay. A gentleman does not just brandish his unmentionables in any old burger place alley. Do you want me to come inside? Please do, yes. Aw. Don't. Huh. Time. Hey, Randy. Yeah? Oh, God. I shouldn't have done that. Crap. I shouldn't have said that. Do you ever wonder for real? Does it ever feel like we're in a game to you? And so we have limited options that are being controlled by the center of our universe entirely. Controlling our actions, dialogue options, after dialogue option. Not only do we have one stranger watching us, but there's hundreds. Hundreds of people obsessing over us. Writing stories, creating art that depicts us in strange scenarios. Even making old jokes about you being a hot dog or something whack to that effect. We're being constantly surveyed by all these eyes feeling this immense pressure. That's be in a fake reality caused by some nut job scares me the most of all. At this point, I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Do you ever think about it all that, Randy? Um, no? No, I'm not gonna say that. Huh, forget I said anything. So I would just enter my, yes, yes, that's. <sighs> oh, this is nice. Password, omelet I. Well, here we are. Place looks uh, a little mess from the outside, doesn't it? Actually, no, it doesn't. No, it's it has a much it has a union charm. It does. It, it has even a chair here. Really? Yeah. Oh come on. Yeah, I thought so. I guess it probably just looks better for me because I half the time I see the outside, I'm leaving home to go somewhere that's nicer. Like work, but just come to think of it, really not nicer than here. Between being here being mauled by swans, I blow my brains out. That's encouraging. Still gonna jot that suggestion down for later though. No! Paper. Just in case. So, uh, about that tragic bastard of yours? Oh, right, uh, well, look. Much like, much like myself, my life story is pretty needless and pathetic. You see, it all started when I was born. Fortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of age. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I could just lay in my own feces till I got changed. Look how far you've come. I'm living in a dumpster. Exactly. Now, nowadays you can walk, you can talk. And now you can, you get to lie in other people's feces. 
Well, when you put it like that, it sounds a solid 3% less pathetic. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but... Still 3 health percent less pathetic than I was 10 seconds ago. Were you telling me that you're about to... You're... Were you telling me about your dreadful life? Oh, right. Well, you know, I've largely lived in perfect, perfectly adequate life. Perfectly adequate. Bordering on mediocre, that is. I had an intermediate, rather, in Lizzie. Apartment working full-time at the burger place whose dumpster we're squatting in right now. Then, one day, I decided to do something I'd, rather, I'd rarely done before. I decided to try something new. Huh. Here I see the chaotic result. Well, that's not hard to see, looking at my current surroundings. Sorry, let me continue. I decided to go to the fun fair, the same one that you and I visited on our first date. Oh, interesting. Depends how you knew that chicken cherry. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry's incredibly familiar with both me and the immense of haze of misfortune that I always seems to flow at me around. By the way, Jerry really doesn't seem comfortable around you. Mmm. Don't worry, it's probably just because of my constant unsolicited flirting. Wait, you flirt with Jerry? I, I'd rather... I'd be really jealous right now if my brain wasn't so in complete denial about dating another living, breathing person of any description. I don't know if I quite count as a person, but the spirit's there. Anyway, this is fun for with my then with my then date turned out to be truly absent mind ab abysmal of data. Oh. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I Clowns aren't even real. Yes! Or so the government wants us to think. Sorry, continue. Well, after all, it's a matter of too much of a shameless coward for any ride that came faster than the hot dog stand, which was stationary, I realized that my date was getting really bored with my cribbing cowardice. And I despised, and I, as I desperately gave around the nearby vicinity for an, any attraction, for an attraction, any attraction I was brave to go on, I noticed something off in the not so distant distance. Oh god. An old fortune teller animatronic inside a tacky purple pine and glass cage, cast aside in a barely lit corner of the fun fair, far away from the other attractions. Ah, here we go. This is starting to make sense now. I feel like I'm starting. Um, I feel like I'm about to find out why you bailed at the end of our date. Yeah, the thing is, I, the thing, I looked half deserted, you know, what, it probably was being a tacky animatronic stripped into a barren corner of the fun fair. From what I could see, only spiders and moles seemed to be taking much notice to the machine. But, even the name of the machine from fits its appearance. Madame Mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as if the mean machine ran were somehow... Kindred? Anywho, deciding to approach that thing ended up being a train wreck in half. Did the machine fall on your foot or something? No, I... Did it steal your date? Not literally, no. Then what happened? Yeah. I was starting... I was getting to that part. Oh, I'm sorry, Randy. I crept into the old machine and carefully slipped a quarter into its coin slot. My last quarter. And just like that, the machine sprang to life, lights and all. Then a hazy pre-recorded voice emanated from the small speaker embedded to the mannequin's torso. Place your hands upon my glass and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified, admittedly. I mean, I already had a real live woman next to me and it might as well have been a triple date at that point. Oh, he's watching. My date reassured me, and I slowly outstretched both my hands to place them against the the murky old glass of the machine. The date. The moment my palms as much brushed the surface of the glass, the machine started screaming at me as I just set off an aerated siren. The same words over and over again, at a deafening volume. 
Your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. Go F yourself. Over and over and over again. Oh! Wait for it. It gets worse. I'm not gonna lie. What followed me wasn't exactly my fir my finest hour. And phone God forbid my torturous, my tortured, shriveled Donald actually managed to feel any kids. I don't want it then. I don't want to. I don't want them remembering me for this after I'm gonna. What did you do? Well, my fight or flight response kicked in. I screamed like a pure, like a prepubescent girl and shot at the machine. And then the machine fell onto your foot. Why do you keep assuming the machine fell on my foot? So you're saying that it definitely didn't? In a way, I guess it did. The machine fell straight on top of me. Whole body. Okay, yep, there's the kicker. The machine kept wailing for me the entire ordeal, which I was pinned under it. I took four men to lift the machine off me. I was pretty he banged up, but hey, I noticed that my head was just about, was just about in one piece, meaning that I was still very much alive. Christmas miracle. It wasn't Christmas. Yes. I stumbled around, admittedly having a pretty gnarled concussion. My dad asked if I was okay, and I, uh, kinda stumbled hands first and grabbed her, uh, mammary melons. Which she responded to me by screaming and pushing me, causing me to fall backwards, hitting my already damaged head on a nearby rock, which confused my, which caused my, my entire body to be cleaved in twain in my circuits and wires to spill out. You spilled your disgusting cranium innards all over the place? God, how embarrassing. I woke up in an emergency room a few days later. Apparently, the doctors j just about managed to patch me back up with some considerable difficulties. Oh? Well, the blunt trauma of the impact kind of did and broke most of my internal in internables. My brains and whatnot, you know. The docs were able to just about get everything back in one piece, but really struggled to fit the misshaped parts back into my head. The main surgeon bandaged my head back up and chatted to me while appealing my flying bandages. Meshing that passing that due to the difficulties of getting all the pits of brain, skull, broken glass, and phone pieces back into my head. That if I took the bandage off for even a second. Kaboom. Oh my god. Did the doctor put dynamite in your head? No. He meant that my head would explode on its own. You know, pop like a giant oozing pimple. Oh. So that's why we're wearing that bandage even now. Correct. Even now, if I were to take it off for even a moment... Why don't guess why your banners has F face written on it? Oh, right. That. So, basically, while the doc put the finished touch on my bandages, he was telling me about my evening from my mediocre date to the machine falling on me. And the doc laughed and said that it was quite a small world because his daughter had even been on, had been on a date at the same fun for the same night as the accident. And then her date had also been crushed by a fortune telling machine before groping her falling backwards and then... Oh dear. Well, at that point, the doctor realized just how small the world really was and decided to write F face written on right my bandage because the world groping his daughter for that fiasco. Yikes. Why don't you just, you know, wash it off? I tried, believe me. As soon as I got home, I tried. I couldn't have gone into work with F face written on my head forehead, given farming and consuming my own source of income and admittedly lousy but only place to live. Oh god. Well why can you just, well why couldn't you get it out then? It it's deeper on the fibers. I tried water, soapy water, bleach, and drain cleaner. I wish I just drank the drain cleaner, admittedly. Sorry, continue. Well, I must have passed out from the drain cleaner fumes because I, uh, 
I turned up for my shift at the Berg joint three days late, high as a kite and holding a possum on my arms. And you still say, Bunny fired me on the spot. Yeah, that'll do it all right. So then I ended up losing the apartment and you know, I lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my self-respect and my hope for a better future because I gained a possum. Please tell me catch a possum. I didn't so much keep it. I kind of just followed me home. I think it leaves that I'm its mother. Oh, it loves you. It keeps screaming at its own ass. It just keeps screaming. It knows no love, only screaming. Hey there. Oh, hey, there he is right now. Okay. How to play possum with him. Scream at your last two minutes. Oh my god, he's adorable. He's flea ridden. You're just jealous. Of what? His fleas? Of how much I care about him. I'm not, I mean, you've just met him, and I'd die for him, Randy. Look, possum annex aside, I, I've been renting this dumpster from my old boss since it's technically the cheapest property in town. And I still barely make enough to pay that hungry bastard's ghouly rent with how much money I lose from getting mugged by hostile birds and losing tips by depressing the weirdo customers who call their phone sex hotline. I, I can't stand for this anymore. This place is depressing enough as is and really why is that this right? I'm going to die in here. Cuddling in a discarded body pillow in a randy made nest compromised solely of users of used syringes and old newspapers. <laughs> Statistically improbable. If anything you'll finally drop Huh. If anything will finally drop you for good, it'd be the swans. Thanks for the worst of encouragement. So Randy, what you gonna do about it though? I, I, I'm gonna rant and complain of, of a storm. Yeah, that'll do it, all right. I need to get out of here. I wanna see the world. Okay, scratch that. The world is scary and hostile and made out of paper and other such proud of things. I need, I need to see what that isn't here. I, tent, hang on a second. How long have you been talking for? I'm late for work, aren't I? Oh no, oh god, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't find it at the park, to be frank. You know, I slept in and you didn't tell me? But I thought you were going wild, Randy, cutting loose. Are you crazy? No, I could lose my dumpster and that's all I have left. Oh, fallen God, there's somewhere a place even lower for me to sink in. I can't go back to the streets, man. I reek of desperation. Actually, alpha, actual alpha males thug will, sm will smell my whimpering towers and instantly attempt to mug me. And when they realize I have nothing left to take, they'll take their frustration out by paying, taking their tenemy over the head with the garbage can lids. Are you not? I'll protect them then, then. Oh, sure. So you spit cryptid acid onto a few plugs for me, but what then? What of my life? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I lose this job. I need to get to work. I'm sorry I have to just ditch you like this. You deserve better. No, you deserve better. You've been asking me than anyone else so far and I have no idea why. Okay, fine. You haven't actually been that consistently nice to me. But I have nobody else left. So this is goodbye then? For a whole five or so hours till my shift at the park is over, yes. Wait a second. Dude, I live in a tent at the park. Wait, did you say you dwell in a tent at the park? Oh dear, that's quite unfortunate. It's a good life, dear. It's a good life, dear Randall. Living in a tent has its benefits. Like, no rent, greedy landlords, annoying roommates. Modest the cost of drug dealers, hustle pawnbirds. 
It's not a bad gig. Yeah, no, thank you. I saw houses as dumpsters. If I had to spend another second at the park than necessary, I'd just end up ripping out this damn bench to soft booth. Right, but then you wouldn't have a face on your head anymore. No! Yeah, and my brains would spill out. But then he wouldn't have be a face anymore either. That I'll just quickly drop that stress in that too. But I mean, my poem was you're heading towards where I live. So we're actually going to the exact same way, Randy. Why not make this a a date? Oh, oh wowie! I never heard us on a second date before. Ah, he danced. He dance, he do be dancing. I've never been asked on a second date before. Oh, as if I'd be willing to lose a cutesy lovable bum like you. I think not, hun. Oh, baby. <laughs> I am not watching this. A second date, I... Finally, something can cross off my bucket list. Between pet a smooth rock and die some way other than inside a fast food restaurant toilet stall. Leah, we can work on the rest of the list later. Well then, let's waste no time. After you, my sweet. Aw. Uh, just watch your step. The uh, monster trash can get quite slippery. The moisture. <sighs> Randy's nice. I like him. He's very fun. All right, just 15 more minutes of walking in. Excuse me? It's only 15 more minutes until we hit the 15 minutes. Okay, unless you have some kind of cryptid property system that allows you to get around without using your legs. I'm sure they must have taken you at least 15 minutes to walk from here to the park. Subway. You took the subway here? Wait, I could have sworn that you rapidly said that you were literally penniless and poverty stricken. Oh, I don't pay my car. I just literally usually hop on. Nobody hassles you or asks to see your ticket. No, nope, just people just look the other way. Literally, people hate looking at me. I'm literally green, man. People leave me well enough alone. Huh. If you're with me, no ticket dudes, no ticket dudes are gonna bother you. Besides, I never see any staff down there. The whole subway's falling apart down there. It's lawless. Huh. You know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk to spend time with my dear and loving companion. After all, what could possibly go wrong? A lot. Your wallet, bozo, hand it over, or your dumb phone face gets it. Why did I trust you? You lay eggs. Hey, you don't need to be rude. Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you get to pout. Oh God, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep learning the hide in your own shell as much of your life as you can like a hermit crab lesson and then they sportly keep you un learning it just to make my own life even worse. This sucks. Your ideas suck, also yes. Hey, am I effing invisible? Yeah. The wallets, bozo, or I'll start, or I'll start a stabbing. But you're holding a gun. You can't. You will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hand that wallet over. So help me, phone God. Oh God! Oh God! Oh sir! I don't even have a wallet. I wait. You don't even have a wallet. Blue crap, everyone got, everyone's got one. I, uh. So what do you carry your money around in then? I only have change, I don't. Then hand it over. I don't care if it's even a mere pity it's. I demand monetary conventionalism for this so far fruitless endeavor. Virtue Spezus. This is the only moment I have. This is, only, this is the only money I have left. Should I? No! Oh god, what the hell do I say? Well, 
it's gonna be more than a hundred fifty than dollar fifty. Okay. This is a really important decision, huh? Oh god. Oh no. Chat, what do I do? Like his his life isn't worth risk is isn't worth a dollar fifty. But I don't want him to move to lose it. Save, 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 save. I can't save. Save, save. Save, save. I can't save. Save. It's not worth your life. Yeah, maybe it is. But it's not worth dying for. But then again. Take everything sitting down forever? Randy being Randy. Yeah, he probably is. So something comes along that kills him even after he fully compensates. That is. Oh, God. I... Hun, what should I? Oh God. Save it again, save it again. Override it. Oh no. Bravery! You think I can really stand up for myself? Yes, right, I know you can. You're right. Like, listen here, you scoundrel. I'm a proud citizen and I... I'm armed. You are not. Just hand over the change, man. Oh, alright. Here, that's every penny I've got to my name. Cool beans, thanks. You know what the funny thing is? This thing isn't even loaded. Are you kidding me? I've got good enough to just only tell you that after I'm done robbing you. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm so great. If it's not loaded, then, uh. May have some of the change back, please. Sam, why are you negotiating with him, Randy? Ask for all your money back. So no either way, Bozo. Negotiate, Randy, it's the heart of the deal. For the record, I said that this thing wasn't loaded, that I couldn't, it's not that I can step it like, like a bread tip, I felt like it bandages. Okay, that's completely fair. Have a nice day. You're pathetic, man. Later, bozos. Did I do, did I do good, hon? Oh. I'm gonna save again. Just in case I don't like the outcome. Oh, of course you did. Really? Not just saying that? No, of course not. Oh, Virgie Spezos. I think one of your many glands are, secret, are secreting through your clothes. Do you have a dishonest glam? Oh, who am I kidding? 
I'm a damn train wreck. I'm your smuck. Why I can't even avoid getting mugged right. It's rarely voluntarily. By definition, isn't it never voluntarily? I don't know about that, man. After all, some people say pay taxes willingly. Touch job, I'm here I'm here all night, folks. Yep, still got it. I'll just sit quietly and wait till we get to the park. Okay. Okay, let's do this and then go back here and see what it would be. Sure. Okay. And what would it be? About six seconds, yeah. <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm a damn train wreck. I'm your schmuck. Yeah, this is the same thing. Bop, 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 bop. Yes. Okay. <sighs> well, here we are. Our used syringes discarded kind of in enraged avians filled paradise. Phone, God, I hate this place. Oh, it's not so bad. I have no idea why I said that. I, it's literally so terrible here. Oh, this is, an, this is an absolutely wretched location. Yep, this place is truly wretched. It's truly, it's truly a wretched hive of pond scum and bird villainy. So what now? I guess I'll get to work. You see any hostile swans nearby? I feel all right. Guess you should take those out then. Rainy's a bit I. Those are fair. Those are fair-ish odds, right? More usual than fair, perhaps. Yeah. Heck, I can't do this anymore. Those things are medium-sized dog-scaled feathered dinosaurs with some snaky necks and they have teeth. This isn't worth any amount of money, and certainly not the kind of money I get for it. If only I hadn't used that damned fortune teller machine, this whole chain reaction of absolute misfortune wouldn't have been happened. Now who am I kidding? You were right. I need to stick up for myself. Things won't ever get better if I don't show the world that I deserve better, you know? Yeah, so the world you don't, you're not the sack of, it thinks you are. Yeah, I, wait, people think I'm a sack of. Huh. Not for long with the right attitude. You're right. I should have the attitude of a winner. They say you should dress for the job you want, after all, not the job you have. Oh god. And you sort of do just like a hobo, which gives out a conflicting message. No, you got a hobo? Yeah, that's the one. I need to take charge of my own destiny or die trying. I'm hoping it won't come to that, and that it simply trying to be su sufficient enough. But you know. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call on the hotline. And you aren't actually gonna take this. I'm told, uh, what a jiff. Maybe the customer will finish cracker if I cry during, this is a grim, man. Hello, sir, madam. My name is Randy Jade, and I'm Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry, my manager forced me to say that. Yeah, yeah, I know the spiel. Yada, yada. All right, let's get down to business. 
What are you wearing, darling? Well, I'm kind of wearing a denim jacket and a white plaid shirt with a busted button and I've got banners on my... Yeah, you dirty. You would... Hang on. You just say bandages? Well, yeah. I... Out of curiosity, did you just get out of the subway a little while ago? Yeah? How'd you know? Dude! I just mugged you. That wasn't me. Oh. Nice to... Small world, am I right? Yeah, I... Dude, I'm just using your opinions of a hall to call you right now. I'm just getting my rocks off. Boy, what a world. Burst just speaks of something when I start crying, and I'm actually worried that I'll enhance the expression for the experience for you. Randy. See, sweet. Hey, it's Sweet Lips. You still there? I. Yeah, of course you are. I've got the dollar fifty-five. So for the next four minutes, I'll take me to finish this call. Amongst other things, I'm a VIP. So doll, stop enjoying me. I, Randy. Yes, for shoes pieces. Randy, come on, man. This is beneath you. What? This is my job, Bertie's pieces. At least one of them. Hell yeah, it's your job, sweet cheeks. It's your job to serve me, to please S sweet cheeks? Pow, what cheeks? I don't have a face. My head is a f Oh, don't play coy. You know exactly which set of cheeks I mean. Randy. You're worth more than this. Okay, except I'm clearly not. Except you clearly are. And you know offense, but your life is exactly worse than mine. Worse than me. Ah, crap. I'm really blowing this whole living thing, aren't I? You can fix that at any moment, though. I... You're right. I'm sorry, sir, but... You're a bastard, man, and I'm not helping you get off. Ex effing excuse me? Why, how dare you? I'm a VIP, pal. A paying customer. It's my effing money. Who on earth would even hop on the subway just to mug people with an empty gun? I actually worked for that money, you hacker. You're just a persuasive beggar who has to pass himself off as being bigger threat than his team of dad for people like me. Why you... Pal, I'm standing here in a murky phone box with my pants around my ankles, and you... Wow. You really are that pathetic, aren't you? That's actually kind of hilarious. I'm actually feeling much less bad now. You might be the only person that is in all of time who needs that money more than I do. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like I'm a effing charity case. I'm tough as ass, man. I'll F you up and I... Now this. This is sad. Oh, you think you're real tough now that you're coming on the end there on the phone line, eh? Pretty boy. Mark my words, pal. I'll be searching for you and I will find you. And I will make you pay for not getting me off. Okay. Tracking one man across the entire city because he doesn't pity you enough to be willing to get you off? Jeez, talk about a cuckold, eh, Bertrice Beezus? Can you say that again, please? But louder? What? No. F you. It doesn't work out if you're into. Okay. I thought you wanted me to be your F. Your B a moment ago. I can't be worse, style. I'm just gonna hang up now. What? No. You just reel me back in. Do you know who I am, pal? I've got mob connections, ma'am. I'll F you up. Yeah, sure, bye. No, nobody hangs up on... That was a good start, Randy. Though, do you think the mob connections bit was true? He did have a weapon head. Oh, 
please. The Dialton mob are the only crowd in this entire room are more acidic than me? I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Name one successful heist that they've managed to pull off. Well, then they saw the tiger from the zoo. They did, but that wasn't even the point of the heist. It wasn't? Now, they were trying to rob the Theroar's safe, but they fled and Theroar shot him with this rifle. One of the buffoons still happened to open the tiger pen on the way out, and the tiger followed them back to their place. They didn't steal the tiger. They're stuck with it. Why not just return to the zoo? Considering that Theroar has a loaded rifle and is willing to use it, that'd be a bad idea to say the least. They did try dropping it off at the city pound three times, but every time the people were said, and I quote, Pussy pussy, puss puss to chonkers. What? Ah, oh, drat. So, wait, are you done with both jobs then? You know what? I guess I am. Swans and all. I can't face the swans again. I'm not strong enough. I'll say, they, they'd monkey worse than that knife cook did. They can smell weakness, you know. And with no money left to take, they'll gladly settle for your dignity. Oh, and your kneecaps. Definitely those two. But I use those every day. Those bastards burns that can't have them. Yeah, the only person ever to touch your kneecaps should be you. And unless I'm going to who physician who, who is in certain very specific circumstances. Yeah, that uh, sounds mostly correct. Yes. But yeah, wrangling swans and wrangling schmecking numbers over the phone is beneath me. Good for you, hon. Thanks. I feel so optimistic that I'm not even angry about the alpha swan eating his, mother, his month's re rent receipt. It feels good to be hopeless optimistic, even my whole life is logistically in ruins. Oh, by the way, do you, uh, sense? Think I could maybe stay at yours tonight? Yes! Should we do for places? Gonna save it. Because I get the wrong message out across. Save. Sure. I can't even say that. Let's do flirty. Oh, I. I don't know what to say. I. Whatever is the right. Whatever it is, it better not be more ceaseless stuttering. And no, it's just clear diction, mother. Did you do you speak it? Sorry. Let's just enter the tent then. Whoa, so this is your tent? Well, it could be our tent if you wanted it to be. You really mean it? Yeah! No, I mustn't. It's a gracious offer and it means a lot to me, but... Well, I don't exactly know how much sleep I'd get every night being mere feet away from those aggressive feathered snake neck monsters. Not an issue. Kids on the playground go home once it gets dark. <laughs> you thought I meant me feet. If you see a child that fits exactly that description, please call the alien task force. Or don't, exactly, actually. They probably want to take a look at you too, come and think of it. You know, those kids used to be great for free labor. What? That's awful. No, no, nothing, nothing backbreaking. Just help clean this tent occasionally. You know, changing my bedding and that's even worse. You can't have kids freely roaming around this kind of filth while their immune systems are still forming. Leave me alone, I'm scared of myself. You've already lain your eggs. You can't use that excuse forever. Watch me. So, uh. I know it's a bit of sudden, but, uh, since we're back at your place, we could always, uh, you know. Just 
just gonna save it. In chat. This is merely for con confusing purposes. Not how I would have phrased it, but yeah, this is indeed how I was getting at. Hmm. Don't know if there's gonna be noises. Um, um. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, this thing, starting soon. Oh God. I just gotta click, I just gotta click. No oh, God. No oh, God, no. I am gonna mute this sounds. Oh God. Just click, click. How do you skip? How do you skip dialogue? How do you... Oh, God. Oh. Ah. Ah. Is it good now? Can I... Is it okay now? Okay. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. This is nice. Sure. Safe sleeping in that. Okay. Fair, yeah. Okay. I didn't like that. I did not like that. Oh, he sleeps. Oh, it's bright. Ah. have eyes. Do you? Eyes, after centers, potato, uh, potato, potato. Hunters, I'm in agony. You just embodied wrench. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, Randy's sound asleep, so, uh, you wanna go back to bed? Bright. Okay, yeah, scratch that then. Any backup ideas? You lay eggs. Exactly. Ha, I win. In fairness, I said you look like you lay eggs, not that you look like totally idealist. Name any egg line creature known for coming up with even one idea. You. Do Kimono Dragons count? Oh crap. What ideas have they come up with? Inject venom into their filet with their saliva, stalk their prey until their prey collapses, and then devour their prey hole. You think those scaly came up with that idea? Oh. Did you? Oh. Can you spray cookies on a musky sludge into your ex for startling you on the first plate? Shut. Do what to do, what do now? I do not know. You could 
You could go to the fairground, check in those eggs, fears, capital idea. Let's go do that. But first, ah, me, the hand is just green. Ah, me medicine. I think you're meant to uh, take maybe a spoonful at most of that stuff at any given time. And only if you're sick. Oh, but who better than Sunday to jail? Cause I drink too much coffee after. Stop crawling at that. Crypt it away. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no, I ticket Jerry. Please no. My life insurance just ran out. My all, my all, Atians, they need their ointments. I, please ma'am, I'm too tired to die. I simply won't have the energy to go back to life to start a new religion on the hellish afterlife that I'll claim after I saw beyond the personals on death. I know how that feels. I can never get up in the morning. Hence why I get up in the afternoon or evening. Eat a whole animal carcass and then go back to slumbering. To the mon monumentous life. Who needs a wife, a career, or an aspiration of any kind that you can just wake up at dusk to eat some roadkill? Would you mind if I, asked if I had a snack right now? Is a snack roadkill? No. I don't believe you. Yes. Then no. B. Anywho, what are you actually here for then? I want to get an access to fun for please. Gonna hazard a guess and say that you don't have two dollars and thus can't afford a ticket. Wow, you must have a brilliant high IQ. <laughs> yeah, that is basic at education skills. Look, can I be real with you? This egg quest is exactly something I can easily explain to my boss. Like, say my boss checks to see if you intend to enter without paying for a ticket. What do I even say? I scared if I'm to check on eggs that she laid for your in your fun fair. Honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. Perfectly understandable. Well, yeah, I'm sure that it is a very common cryptid dilemma. But my boss is very much human. He drinks coffee, not bat piss, and he files taxes yearly so we can live in a house. Civilization sounds scary. You know, you might find it pretty straightforward if you actually domesticated yourself. Hard pass and feral and proud. Thought of being an attendant and fighting swans or for sw for soggy pond bread? Is that really a boring life? Is yours? I. All right, so I can I can't leave in obviously. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. I'm used to being let down. Nope, I refuse to feel bad. You're green. You lay eggs. <laughs> so you're not letting me because I'm green? My heart, my broken heart. You know, I can't tell if it's more like that you have no heart or multiple hearts working in horrendous in tandem. Actually, come to think of it, maybe I don't have a heart. I think my blood just sort of swishes around in here on its own. You know, like the inside of a crab's body. Riveting. Look, I... We already had some change with them last time you two were here, right? Why not see if it amounts to two whole dollars and use that to pay yourself in? Oh, God. No. I'm sure Randy is too downtrodden and submissive to do anything other than shove the money into your hands if you so much suggest the idea to him. Yeah, no can do, Chief. It's all gone. It's... What happened to it? Randy got mugged, Jerry. They took every penny he had in his name. Oh, don't tell me the swans have developed a taste for sweaty copper and nickel coins as well as human flesh. Nah, I still never got a gun pointing gun to his head. I tried to question him to stand up for himself, but... 
but he chickened out, soiled his pants, and then willingly took his beating without audible complaining, as per usual. Yeah, that's not really exactly what happened. Lord, how unfortunate. I guess it's just Randy sucks to get mugged through, though. Well, with the curse ruining his life, are you surprised? Wait. Curse what now? The curse, he... Are you pretending not to be, not to remember so you guys won't be legally liable? What? No, I remember, but that's not the issue. This is, that is so the issue. It is not. You surely don't really believe in all that cursed hex and urban hogwash. I mean, I know you probably believe in the likes of Bigfoot, but... Magic is real. A talking rat wearing pants told me so. Was a talking pants rat in question trying to sell you DVDs and... Theme park to his magical capitalistic state utopia, which can't support his corpses for to Hogwarts hopes at the time. This will not turn me ticket jury. Well, if magic's real, then why don't you just com ca conjure a ticket or at the very least two dollars so you can purchase one legally? Hey, just because magic's real doesn't mean I can do it. Heck, is it real, but I don't kn know and care to know how to do them. I. Tax brought aside. What are we talking about again? The uh, robotic portion of which cursed Randy. Yeah, about that. We've had that hunk of talk for years. My boss brought the stupid booth on a whim ages and ages ago. Figured it'd make a good novelty attraction, I guess. But, uh, the thing is. Basically, the thing doesn't work. Like, at all. Then why did I... Then why even have it at all? Hey, I was a mere lugger, not the boss man. Not my call. To be frank, the boss just threw the booth over in the corner, away from the rest of the other attractions. Freak people would not bother it if he could take it to cheap repairman to take a grander at it, I guess. And then along came Randy. So wait, what was actually up with the booth then? From what I understand, those gaudy, but on mediocre booths were mass, produ mass produced by an arcade company at a dumb novelty attraction for arcades and the like. Put a quarter on it, her orb head lights up, and the speaker behind her has a random pre recorded fortune. The deal was that the bastard who programmed the randomizer got drunk the night before and cabinets all shipped out. Thought it would just be hilarious at a really rare response to the fortune pool. Event. Essentially, he decides to add one thousand chances of Madame Yakers telling you that the force is going to be full of ceaseless anguish and relentless torture. Fun. So Randy got the one thousand chance. Can you talk about unlock you, right? Yeah, luck doesn't really come to it, actually. The drunken programmer didn't actually enter the odds of one in a thousand, but instead a thousand and one. Which I'm just going to never start going to understand what that means. Essentially, instead of Madame Yager saying that line once every thousand or sometimes, she booted up, she said it, the line every time. Around a thousand times in a row, each and every time she was used. Combine that with the speaker being stuck on his high, highest volume setting, and you've got a full experience for exactly what happened to Randy. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It took several of us just to pull the booth off that level of Boza, even then. Well, the thing kept screaming for hours after he was taken to the hospital. The moment it stopped, we just threw an out of order sign on, on the thing and decided to pretend that it simply didn't exist. Honestly, it's worth wonder so far. So wait, I don't understand. Rainy isn't really hexed then? Nope, he's neither hexed, jinxed, enchanted, or cursed, bewitched, nor bewarlocked. He's merely Randy. I don't understand. Well, look, I'll admit his life is bad as it probably could be, but, you know. Well, work backwards is all I'm saying. I... I need to speak to Madame Yoker. Firstly, I repeat, Madame Yoker is a non-sentient and non-magical inanimate bot object. Secondly, I radiate for the umpteenth time. You need to tickle through that, ma'am. Hmm. For Randy? 
I... Look, my boss told me to dial the police if anyone enters without buying a ticket, so I do kind of have to do that. But, uh, if you can bail before the cops get here, I'll tell the fuzz that they have no idea who you are. I don't know what to say. How about, thanks for the small act of leniency, Jerry. I will reward you for your empathy and generosity by never turning here nor at constricting to you or your family ever again. Ah, fuck like that. Smile you later, Gramps. Curse you, green... Green one. Okay, we gotta be fast. We gotta be fast. There she is. Yep. Oh my. I'm standing right in front of her. Thrilling. Hello, Madame Mediocre. Why, hello there, Sug. You can talk? Tinkadere told me that you were just an inanimate object. Oh, don't worry, Sug. He's a complete. He's completely correct. All this is happening in your head right now. I don't understand. Yeah, you're just really out of it right now, Sug. You chugged cough nectar this morning. Don't forget. Yeah, I did that, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Now, what can Madame Mediocre do for you, Bahan? Can I? No, because I'm a figment of your imagination, you lime hued triangle. Also, you would just forget them right after I say them. I can remember like 10 numbers in a row, no problem. What'd you be this morning, Sug? Ah, easy, Rose Cove. I win. What species? Ah, shit, I didn't need to get, I need to get my old noggin checked. Maybe go to an actual physician this time, not just a, a Jamaican dude who are based from the back of his van using garden shears and super glue as surgery equipment. No, I, I don't want no medi medicine man cutting out my flush man. They might send me off to the labs. Have me tested on. Oh, come on. The labs didn't want you the first time that Savari dude captured you in a gigantic butterfly nut. They just send you back to the zoo and you know it. You're simply afraid of the rejection. That's true. Stop, stop being correct. Anything else then, Sog? Yeah, about that. Again, I'm not really in any shape or form, aside from the literal junk, that is. So I cannot cast nor rebuke curses, specs, or anything. time. Well, that's a letdown. Oh, God. Like Jerry said, work backwards. You know, take it, Jerry. I know everything, you know. You, fr you frog payment and meanerful health. Meanderthal and I'm squatting inside your head. Whoa, man. Wild. What's this about Randy, then? Every bad thing that's ever happened to him is because he just takes abuse and then convinces other people that he deserves it in the first place. He has a rare spirit. The, spawn, the swans know this. Look, let's be frank here. If, if Randy is the bad guy, I'm gonna start crying. If Randy just asserts himself in the smallest possible way for any amount of time, he see instant improvement. He's not completely Randy's fault that the world is so dreadful and that his life is so wretched. But it's his responsibility to fix his life and he wanted to see a better tomorrow. Huh. See, that's inspirational now, but uh, Randy's a real gun call about this curse nonsense. I don't think he's gonna want to hear that he's the problem. Okay, look. Maybe they just spoon feed him in this letter fiction, but a coated in whimsy and magical riffraff. He might just take to it then. What does that entail? All you have to do is tell him that he spoke to me and willing to work his internal curse and he just has to come to the booth and not undo his enchantment. His chant or whatever. You know, you expect the fact that Randy is scared shitless of you. He wouldn't even entertain the idea of approaching you on our date. So that, like a possum floating in my po boy's gumbo, is dead in the water. I'll stick to your call, please, so I should clear out here relatively soon. Oh, I don't know. 
fine. How about this? Got us some candles, some miscellaneous knickknacks and such, and then return to Randy. Tell him some rich doctor gave you a magical and human all curses and other such cosmic mockery or trouble. Then if it's magical stuff is real. Right, it isn't. You just need to make sure he thinks it's real for it to work. Oh, so it's like the plus, plus, oh, placebo effect, placebo, what? You mean placebo effect, placebo, placebo, flaccid bone. Of all the minds I could come from, is there anything I just wanted done, Sug? Sorry, hon. I'm cheap, but I ain't free cheap. So you have, do you have 25 cents? No. You don't need psychic powers to protect your future, Sug. Just protect, which badger den your lifeless hug of a body will turn up into one day. I hate you when you're right. Any other questions, dear? No. Okie dokie. Just remember what I said, hon. You, uh, your sir fried mind isn't gonna just forget all this the moment you walk away, is it? Wait. Where am I again? I, f I forget. Are you Randy? You're cursed. You're cursed forever. You will be devoured whole by time and return to the gutters from whence you came as green to could roll and kill. That's a given. You're just pointing out there, obvious. Wow, you are, really are a fraud. Bummer. Leave my sight at once, mortal. Haha, <laughs> rad. See you later, sis. Be gone with you, okay? That was fun. That was nice. <sighs> oh. Brandy. Brandy. <clears throat> Hold on, I. Burgess of Jesus. How do you know where to find me? Also, where have been? Okay, you've got me there. Where'd you do in the dumpster, anyhow? I thought you lost this month's rent, rent receipt. Did the office one receipt in the paste paper? Not exactly. I just figured you'd at least squat here until when I figured out I lost their seat and then remember the intermediate and kicked me out. Oh, please, what would he even do? Throw you in the trash? Well, he could start incinerating his trash. Wouldn't that be a nice change? The trash sauna. Nah, the sauna's totally steamy and moist. The flames just evaporate the moisture away. It'd be more like being trapped in God F sweet fireplace. But it's still a step up regardless. Oh, hey, you want to come over to mine, by the way? God. There's the large as the pros and cons for that idea. The main pro being, I'm no longer in a dumpster, and the main con being, I'm at the mercy of the pond diamonds again. I didn't exactly quite quit the swan raggling gig just to willingly spend my days to the health, health of free. There's another pro. And what's that? Coming to spend time with me? Oh, like that's a. <gasps> huh? Huh? Don't you. Duh. I mean, we could just spend time here. I heard that. Now come over to mine or I'll castrate you. Fine, geez, geez, okay. What's so important that you need to go to yours so badly anyway? Oh, don't- Okay, so don't freak out, but... I went and spoke to Madam Mediocre. Randy? You okay, bud? Don't touch me. I'm frightening. I'm frightening. Ah! Hi!
Chat, I have food. I have sustenance. Ooh. Don't touch me, I'm frightened. No, Randy, it's okay. I'm begged and groveled and wept and... Oh, nice. Those are all hobbies of mine. Shut. Sorry, ma'am. Ahem. Anyways, I convinced her to undo your curse. What? What? You sure she's really on board? Because I don't feel too... I was getting to that. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Ahem. She gave me instructions to perform an uncursing ritual. Guaranteed to remove any bewitchment, hex, or magical enthrustment. She... Huh. I mean, I'm not unwilling to try the ritual. It's just... You really think it'd even work? I don't want to get my hopes up just so it won't hurt Fry's bit when I'm invariably let down by her. Oh, come on, listen to yourself. You think she can curse you but can't uncurse you? Sure, if she can give curse and she can take them away. Well, most human adults have the meaning to throw a plethora bomb at your house. But a very small number of those people could just replicate your now destroyed house. Come on, Randy. Uh huh. Would you do it for me? I mean, you don't eat her. I do it for. I do it anyway since it'd probably beat dying alone in this dumpster, but. Wait, what exactly does the ritual entail? It's better if that's a surprise. For magical reasons, or for Randy may very well flee if he knows what's coming reasons. Huh. <laughs> ah, but fine. Fantastic. I've got the ritual ready to go in my tent right now. Are there lit candles involved? I mean, it's a magical ritual. Of course there's... You have lit candles left unattended in a fabric tent. Oh, please, we both know the outside of my tent is too moist to combust. Rain on pond water, my dear. Come on, let's go now. I need to eat a chicken nugget. Huh, very, uh, hang on. Ah. Ah, chicken nugget. I have chicken nuggets. Huh, very, uh, isn't that, uh, hanging meat? No. That is clearly hanging meat. Yeah. Candles, hanging meat. Boy, how lucky were you in that exact ingredient scene for the ritual could all be found in the dumpster outside Bill and Dave's candles and mysterious meat emporium. Yeah, I... So, Brother Randy, are you ready? B brother Randy? I don't like the impatience of that. Silence, mortal. Okay, that's more what I'm used to, yeah. This ritual will occur you. Do not forget. Or so the orb saith. Why are you talking like that? It makes the magic works better. I've seen it in movies, but my initial curse wasn't in the old English. Have you ever performed any exorcism and been Randy? Nope. Not recently, no. Then sit thine a down. Not literally though, as the ritual is starting now. Okay, what's step one? Uh, I, you need to, are you improv, are you improvising? No. What are the candles for then? Step one is to, for two speeds, lick the candle. Why would I eat the orb, Randy? It knows no mercy. Place your tongue upon the melted wax. You will know the joys of having a wax-coated tongue. What tongue? All right, maybe that step wasn't important. Step two, the magic words. You do know the magic words, don't you? Yeah, they're, uh, Latin. You speak Latin? Well, I speak taco habel menu. I believe tacos descend from Latin, right? So, uh, Chantis. Britum. Uh, taco yum. Pizza yum. Okay, that one is definitely just Italian. Roman dude, pizza dudes, baguette dudes. 
They're all stinky like Ill, Ill. Let me say my mumbo jumbo. Or do you want more bad luck? Sorry, ma'am. Ahem. Veni vidi volupshi future te iposum e katera e katera. Uium are cursium. What? You're cursed. I. My curse. Curse gone, gone. Go bye bye. It's gone? Just like that? Well, yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't feel that different. I'm sorry, but you are still Randy. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do about that. But I am an uncursed farmer of Randy, though, aren't I? So since you are, yes. Well, if the orb sets is good enough. Randy, you seem so fretful about this cosmic hogwash. And yet, now that you have a cure, there's something that you aren't telling me. Well, I... Look, let me be real with you. I'm not actually certain that... That the curse is the only reason that my life is so unexpectedly cute, cruddy. I mean, it's nice to look at things and say, oh boy, the whole world seems to be really crummy right now because, but at least I'm not responsible for any of it, you know? You know, that while I'm a failure in every possible way, that if one moment had gone differently, that things would all be fine. Meaning that nothing is really my fault deep down, you know? Do you understand? Yeah, I do. I had a feeling you would. I imagine that if it can be a bit lonely being the only egg layer in town. Well, look at the bright side. Maybe impressed, non-human, smell like, I may be impoverished, non-human, smell like garbage, etc. But at least I'm not a effing clown. Right, because then you wouldn't exist. Because clowns don't exist anymore, right? Hopefully not, no. So, about the whole getting my life back on track idea. Randy, if you want to get your life, if you want your life to get better, you have to actually take some kind of risk. Like bungee jumping? What? No, a real risk. Like laying eggs in her place or marrying a swan queen. Or getting a new job, perhaps. Oh yeah, right. that'd do it too, right? But I don't know, I mean... Could hire someone like me and besides how would i even get in touch with anyone without putting them off my unkept physical appearance if only there was some way i could contact potential employers without shoving up in person I had the phone i'm just now remembering this carrier pigeon pal i'm hungry enough right now to just eat the carrier pigeon before having to write a message out for it to carry. Hmm. You're not hungry, then may I offer some horse jerky? You may not. That's not, it's chewy. Who should I even call up anyway? I have one business card in my position located in my back pocket. It's our last and only hope. Well, whip it out. I think this is where the whole egg laying idea came from. I don't know. I, no. I mean, that font on a business card. Do I really want to refer to these kinds of people? Consider it swans. Sold. All right, we'll go somewhere else. Tent. To make the call? Do you mock my abode, Randy? No, I merely insult it. To mock is to make light of something. And there is nothing initially humorous about these living conditions. You are a gentleman and a scholar, Randy. Let us now bench. Bench. Okay?
me exit out of this. All right, it's ringing. It's hello. My name is Randy Jade, and yeah, that's right. I am the dude who got caught shoplifting already. Discounted soon. The expire launched me from the twenty-four. Seven gas station over the inter intersection of. I mean, what? No. Now you must be thinking of a different, less confident Randall J. So, why, why am I calling you? I'm calling you to. Uh, I'm calling you to tell you why you should give me a job. Why should you hire me? You ask. Oh God, I didn't. Gorgeous beads, what do I tell the- Gorgeous eyes. I- You should hire me, sir, because I've got gorgeous eyes. No, I don't actually have eyes. I'm not a normie. I don't know why I- Oh. Yeah, I am indeed a functioning human. Yeah, I do also have all five of my senses relatively intact yes i can work nights oh nice no sir thank you burgess Jesus, i got the job wow that was really lucky what are the odds of, of that working luck doesn't come into it I'm eating my chicken nuggets. Okay. Apparently, Jerry just got fired for letting some scary looking customer charge right into the fun fair this morning and then lie to the police about never seeing her before. Huh. That, that was us. Well, what are we waiting for then? To the ticket booth away. Okay. So. Oh, it scares Randall. Randall. Well, here we are, one for one. My new post. Let me tell you, it feels really nice knowing that if any swans appear within near striking range of me that I'll have my coward glass to protect me. And the only way is through the locked door in the side of the hut. You didn't think a swan could learn how to work a door handle, you know? Well, if a velociraptor can, best lock the door from the inside, just in case. Uh, oh, hey, you know what the best part about all this is? Apparently, the boss says I get to sleep on the floor of the hut because that way I'll have to listen out for noise that night because of my general sleep anxiety and he doesn't have to pay for me working the night shift since I'm just using a herbivore to survive a month at my place of work off duty. Ah, it's a win-win. Symbiotic ex exploitation. So... It looks as if you've got some place to sleep then. But I'm curious, if you work at the fun fair now, does that mean you have to you have the keys to enter our will? Oh, sure. I've even returned to the site of my accident. Let's just throw the <laughs> throw the Madame curves into the dumpster. Oh, it's prevents future lawsuits. Actually, I just don't think I can sleep in the booth with that thing outside. So, I just toss the thing out. Wait a moment. I passed the fairground dumpster on the way in here. There was an area madame in there. Oh, not our dumpster. Don't you worry. I found just the other now I'm seeing dumpster for her. Who who left this who left this thing in my dumpster? Randy, did you do to eat the mouse that ate the cheese? Okay, no idea what that means. But heck again, justice. Oh man, the memories. Hey, I even found the hot dog I got for you during our date. Oh, the one I dropped after witnessing you laying your egg clutch, you know? Oh God. 
Can I have it? I mean... You know, it's been on the ground for at least 48 hours, right? Oh, please, I've eaten weeks old roadkill, so cough up. Virtuous Beezus, don't move. Oh, hey, it's fun. Virtuous Beezus, I've seen enough dinosaur movies to know. These things are the descents of T-Rexes, so if you don't move, it can't see you. Hmm. Wait, really? How can we never have tried that at work, then? I could never stop shaking. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Looks fairly docile to me. Why don't you fear the old hot dog that you found on the ground? Make love, not war. In this worst case scenario, it'll reject your boost dog and just waddle off. Well, I guess I can. Oh, God. That is not a very fun visual. That is just not a fun visual. Well, that was horrific. Yeah. Huh. I guess the spots at the park were just hungry who would who would have thought it i mean they were trying to eat you yeah but i figured out it was like a malicious thing i've never heard of anyone trying to maliciously devour someone else i mean trust me man creature man creatures tend to eat for nourishment sport or gratification yeah it's Wait, did you just say gratification? Dear Sandal, you're far happier not knowing. Right, right. I'm happy for you, Sug. I'm sure Jerry is too. Thanks, and... Wait. So, if I'm here, then, uh... Where did Jerry end up? Is he okay? Don't worry, Randy. I made sure that he's been well taken care of. What? What does that mean, exactly? Nothing, nothing. Just don't think Jerry's gonna be bothering us anymore. Why does that sound so ominous? Virtue's Beezus, where's Jerry? Henry won't be seeing much of him anymore. Some are far more peaceful. Well, specifically? Oh god. Oh, well, that sounds just lovely. The job's gonna melt him right out. <laughs> well, I know, like, four shepherds. If anything, he was overqualified for the position. Wait, what do you give him that job and me this one? Why not just cut out the middleman and give the shepherd job to me? Oh, please, you're on a farm? I don't understand. Randy. Horses bite, Randy. Okay, yep, understood now. And let's not, for, not forget turkey, the taste and angry cousin of swan kind. Mom, can pick me up, I'm scared. Well, with the madame getting thrown out, bunny getting flattened, my poverty being cured, and my curse being revoked, I guess that means each and every loose end has been neatly tied up. Nobody move, nobody effing move. Ah, uh, darn it. Consequences, I hate those. That's right, you bandage smuck. I told you that I'd track you down for not getting me off. Okay. How'd you even find me anyways? How'd you think, Bozo? I searched every public place in the dumpster fire of the city. Every shop, every park, every gazebo. <gasps> every gazebo? Ex each and every one. This is literally the last public place on the city that I haven't checked. I told you that I'd find you. I... Wait. Were you pantsless during the whole search? Did you literally walk around the entire city of Dalton without any pants on? Yeah, you bet I did, Nimrod. Some paper printing printer called the fuzz on me for violating the bank's dress code. No shirt, no pants, no service. Mole. I, that's, 
My god, you really are the most pathetic person in dial time, aren't you? Not anymore. I've got one bullet, and by phone god am I gonna use it? That sounds like a great plan. Except... The glass is bulletproof, you know. Ah, crap, really? Bulletproof, huh? Jeez, for a place with rise that kill people every year, so you go all on play safety, don't ya? Yeah, my job, my new job has its perks. Uh, well, don't you worry, it's all gee. Gee, I'll just shoot what's her face instead. What? No, wait, you can't do that. I mean, I totally can, Bozo, since I actually have a bullet this time. Please, you, you can't. Bandy, shh, don't beg. It's okay, I've had a good life. I made peace with my demons. Oh no, he just got shot. Okay, I don't believe any of that actually happened. Ah, oh, crap, you're right. My life was horrible shit. Ugh. Ah, uh, hell to it, Mugger Just do your thing. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Alright. <gasps> Is that a swan? Ah, oh, crap. What's that thing doing so far from the park? Swan, attack! Ha ha! Oh god. Why did that even work? You fed it a hot dog. You're a dad now, like it or not. Huh. I guess swans can see kind of cute when they're not trying to pierce my jugular. Hey, before we wrap up, can you come outside for just a moment? Are we gonna kiss him? Chat, are we? Hey, from behind my beloved Pyrex force field, hey, I have something to give to you. Can you slip it through the slot? Physically, no. Just come out, Smelly. All right, all right. Hole? Oh. So, what is it? Well, I found something else in the dumpster. The same one I found the candles in the dumpster me in. Candles, dumps me, and something else valuable enough to give to your boyfriend as a gift? <gasps> he got me. Ha! Oh. Do I? He just said that he was my boyfriend. Oh, this man. My, what a beautiful dumpster. What is it anyways? Let me show you. Oh, <gasps> is that a, a band-aid for Randy? I don't understand. My biggest wound, my pride, it's been fixed, right? What could you possibly, your forehead, you great, you greeting? This bandy can go over your bandage. Oh, I see. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you. Oh, I just need to make one little adjustment. Oh God, you're writing something on the bandage. What are you gonna write? Something encouraging. Hold on, let me quickly check my reflection in this puddle. It says Randall Jade, right? Tough guy. Wait. Is it tough guy? Are you? You're not making fun of me, are you? What? No, no. But I'm not a. Oh, please. You think any Scatterbugs and you're gonna. You're do well or hooligans? Are just gonna mess with a bandage certified tough guy? Bandages don't usually just say things, you know. I know you can prove the bandage right, Randy. 
I believe in you. Oh. I thank you, Birchius Bezos, for everything. Sounds like Birchius Jesus. For everything. Okay. That was nice. I like that. That was that was nice. Happy. Aw. The ending where things work out just fine for our dear friend Randall Rondel Jade. Aw. Aw. Okay. Well, I think this is it for the stream. It was very fun. Uh, oh. Randy. He is amazing. Uh, next stream will probably have to be on Thursday, maybe. And, okay, actually, I think I'm going to do one tomorrow. I think I'm going to do one tomorrow. Might be. Probably. Oh, so. Randy. Best guy, great guy, amazing guy. Uh, next stream will probably be Dialton again, or Minecraft, but you know, Dialton again. If it is Dialton again, it could be okay. I think I actually want to get all of the endings, like all the people, like like all the people's good endings, not not like like all the endings, because that's just twenty six streams. Uh, so that was nice. I really want to get Jerry's ending, so that's gonna be fun. I will see you all in the next one. I have to go to my OBS just because I use desktop yeah, capture. All right. Goodbye.